why hello my shopties how is everybody today this is the game i needed today i after the past couple days of high octane somewhat enraging games this is what i've been looking forward to all week um I know very little about Witchwood, uh, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. A lot of people have told me, oh, it's kind of like Animal Crossing, but also kind of like Cult of the Lamb. Like, it's like, it's, it's a, essentially like a cozy kind of like exploration game with crafting elements, um, with not a lot of combat, but like a lot of puzzles and stuff. I think the Cult of the Lamb kind of idea comes from the fact that you have to wander out of town in order to get shit. Um, and then the Animal Crossing aspect from just like the fact that it's like social interaction and kind of also Stardew Valley in that sense and a lot of like kind of crafting farming mechanics and stuff like that. So I'm actually very excited. It's a little spooky, but like not scary. Uh, it's not a horror game, but it has horror elements uh, in the sense that it's like gothic and that tends to go hand in hand with a lot of horror stuff. Um, so I'm actually very excited. Uh, for those that don't know, I'm, I'm very tired. So, excuse me, this game is kind of like right up my alley right now for my energy levels. So I'm actually very excited. Let me read chat to see what's going on. Hello, Jay. That's totally fine that you can't listen. And I'm glad you're checking in. Um, take care of yourself. I know you're out and about doing, doing out and about things. So I hope you have a good time. Uh, congrats, no, on receiving first. Good job, Daydream, on getting second, and thank you for the lurk. Hello, chat Nubus. Good job getting third. Um, and we're gonna get started on this. I'm actually kind of excited. I Again, I have very, very little expectation here. I don't know what's, uh, what to expect fully. Alright, once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. Ooh, I like the, the fairy tale vibe we're getting here. Like a lot of uh, Grimm's fairy tale vibe. I hope it doesn't go as dark as Grimm's fairy tale, though. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. Bah. <laughs> Who's there? Get up. It's a goat. There's a goat in my house. Ooh, I... This house is so nice. Oh, I, I desire to live in this house. Oh, now it's loud. Turn that down. I aspire to have a house like this. Look at this. Interact the goat. You devil, how dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? <laughs> Blah. Shoo, shoo, get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. <laughs> With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. When did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. New chapter. First things first. Find your grimoire. Okay. This is cute. Oh my goodness. Hello, Darth Dragon. Okay. We're gonna mute the game to hear the raid sound. All right, let me just get shout outs down as this plays through. Hello, Raiders. Welcome in. All right, let's see. No, no worries! Don't worry about the small raid. I'm gonna let the, the song end real quick. Um, <laughs> we're gonna jam out for a second before, before <laughs> you can film me in on what happened during the stream. Um, let's see. Alright, I got shoutouts. Go follow them. They seem cool. Thank you so much for the raid. Well, anyone who raids me is cool. By default, that's just that's just the the rule of thumb, <laughs> right? <laughs> I thought it was pretty good too. <laughs> I'm just gonna jam out. Yeah, like feel free to dance, feel free to vibe. All 
This was a total surprise. I only started like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. Darth Dragon, thank you so much for the raid. It was very sweet of you. Don't even worry that it was a small raid. Any raid is valid in my opinion. I don't care how small or how big. Uh, the fact that you trusted your community to me is always, always uh, appreciated in all regards. So thank you so much for that. That is so sweet of you. Um, how was stream? Uh, how, how did everything go? I saw that you were playing Final Fantasy. Um, I hope that was fun. Feel free to fill me in on, on what happened. Uh, if you need to pop off to go uh, take care of yourself as well, feel free to do that. That is totally fine. Um, after stream self-care is very, very important. Um, <laughs> I didn't see you just started. Been lurking in some of your streams and thought you looked cool, so I thought I'd send some love over. Aw, that's so kind of you. I'm so thankful for that. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> well, feel free to just hang out, chill, do what you gotta do. Um, for any of you don't know me, hello, my name is Ramses. I'm your resident pharaoh back from the dead. I'm a variety streamer. I stream all sorts of games. Today we're playing Witchwood for Ghostly Gala, which is my yearly Halloween event uh, where I stream 31 days in a row um, horror games. Sometimes I stream the same horror game multiple times, like next week I'm doing Inscription and Doom, even though I already did them this past week, uh, just because I'm going to see if I can finish them. But usually I try to stick to like about like 20 to 30 horror games uh in a month sometimes i fall short sometimes i i, I don't um so yeah if that's something you're interested in feel free to hang out we're playing witchwood which is more of a comforty cozy game um that's been compared oftentimes to like stardew valley animal crossing but has some spooky elements so that's gonna be kind of fun um stream went good we're playing remake because i love final fantasy 7 uh, the Final Fantasy VII series, I literally just defeated the Airbuster, so I'm not that far in yet, but it's super fun. Oh, that sounds so fun! I'm so glad! I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. That makes me happy. <laughs> um... <laughs> I I ended stream early yesterday because I was playing it and I had a migraine all day yesterday. And I was just like, nah, this ain't it. Gee, <laughs> I got like four or five hours in and i went okay i'm done now i'm tapping i'm tapping out <laughs> i got stuck at snow line i haven't gotten past the the third boss i died at the third boss uh and i was like nope i'm tapping i'm tapping out i can't do this right now <laughs> i'll go back to it next week hopefully with more sleep under my belt i'm still tired uh this week is my week of sleep deprivation for some reason i have to do a lot of stuff so uh, i can't wait until the first day i could sleep in which will probably be um Day after tomorrow i'm so excited <laughs> um but yeah so uh i think that's all about me um i mentioned i'm a variety streamer oh i also talk about for anybody who's curious i also talk about disability topics lgbtq topics pagan topics because i'm in all three of those communities so if that's your cup of tea to hear somebody ramble on their experience in that regard and and pull chat about it uh then yeah you'll probably like my stream and my general vibe my goal is to make a nice safe space for everybody regardless of their background um and their beliefs so yeah so long as you're not a shitty person <laughs> you're welcome here um Go sleep, bitch. I can't. Look, I'm I'm fixing my sleep schedule. What's hap okay, Grizz. 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 Let me just <laughs> look. I am happier being nocturnal, so I stay up at night and I sleep during the morning, and then I'm up in the afternoon. Uh this partially works because everybody's schedule is shifting to be more night centric. Um so for me, that's easier and it's also healthier for me as I have a TBI, so Sleeping during the early hours of the morning helps me avoid things like migraines and all that fun stuff. Um, however, <laughs> however, the catch is not everything has shifted over to nights yet. Like they, they've been kind of going, but they haven't fully shifted over yet. So I have to get up early and I can't go to bed early yet to fully cement <laughs> the hours of sleep I need. Um, so I'm like, instead of getting eight to nine hours of sleep i'm getting closer to like six to seven which isn't bad like that's better than like you know what i was getting before which was between like three to five hours of sleep like i'm doing way better now 
but it's still not where I need to be. So give me like a week and I'll 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 stop being so fucking sleepy. I promise. I promise. I'm 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 getting there. I'm gonna turn on this music. There we go. <laughs> I think I stopped like two thirds into the game, maybe. Yeah, no, inscription's hard. Inscription's very hard. I can't blame you. It's a bit of a difficult game. I like it a lot. It's very nice, but at the same time, oof, it's a difficult game. Also, if the game Witchwood is too loud, just let me know. Because um, Inscription was really uh, like really quiet yesterday. Uh, so I turned up my ripsaw a lot, <laughs> but that means that I don't know what setting it fully is on right now. So I only have like the audio bar on the side to go off of, but I know that that's sometimes not super accurate. <laughs> Uh, aha, here it is. Hmm, it's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all your craftable recipes. You can open it anytime by pressing X. Let me guess, the goat ate some. I... Mending poultice. Poultice. Oh! Oh no. This is... <laughs> okay, so here's my grimoire. With spells and, and regents. My inventory. My tool belt. And my, I got a twig, my ingredients. Nap. I got, I got nothing here. <laughs> okay. My journal. First things first. Ah, I knew it! <laughs> all my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Don't you just hate when a goat breaks into your house and eats your books? <laughs> yeah, I love it too, but also I love like half a uh, i have like half a brain cell and you have to think in that game so <laughs> that's okay that's okay sometimes i find it's funny or more enjoyable to watch people who um are like uh more novice at games like that try and comprehend them i think it's really fun i think it's fun watching people learn and grow and become better. I like card games, kind of. I used to play the Pokemon TCG way back in the day. Um, I actually was in a couple Pokemon TCG tournaments. Not a lot, a lot of smaller ones. Um, because I just didn't like the scene very much. It was filled with a bunch of like, not very nice people at the time. <laughs> now it's a lot better. Uh, same with the uh, Pokemon video game tournament scene. Back in the 2010s was was toxic as all hell. Um, now it's a lot better, thankfully, because it's become a lot more professional. Um, and then... So I used to play the Pokemon TCG quite a bit. And now I play Genius Invocation on Genshin, like, quite a lot. Um, so Inscription wasn't too hard for me to get into because I just have some familiarity with card games. Uh, but sometimes you just pull really shit cards and, and you just get stomped because of it. Because it's a little bit luck based. And so it's a little hard to kind of like account for that. Especially because my dyscalculia keeps making it so that way I misread my numbers all the damn time. It's a problem. <laughs> so I have to get used to it. Um, yes! Yes! Yellow, fellow Genius Invocation player. Hell yeah. <laughs> genius Invocation is so fun. But then again, I'm also a Xenomane, so like that's to be expected from me. <laughs> uh, where's my belt? I'll need it to carry my things if I'm to go confront the beast. I must have left it in that trunk over there. Uh, all right, let's go grab that. Braided belt? Impine nut. Okay, braided belt, a simple rope waistband that keeps items handy. Impine nut, its thorny husk has stimulating properties, whether ground and consumed or simply stepped on. And I wonder if that's a if that's a uh play off of the um what are they called? They're these spiky seed pods that drop around um where I where I'm at. Uh and they'll uh They'll they'll poke you. They'll they'll stab you if you're not careful. Reedy twine, the tough plant fibers, roughly braided into a thin rope. Ooh, and seeker vine. Even in the least likely of places, the tenacious tenacious ivy always finds a way. Mm hmm. Take all of that. 
Yeah, another Sino main. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm a Sino main. Yes, Sino mains rise up. Fuck yeah. I, okay. I've been into Genshin for, uh, I think I, I got into Genshin January of 2021. So just a couple months after Genshin's release. And a couple weeks after I got into it, somebody showed me the Teyvat story preview. And Sino's in that Teyvat story preview, right? And I immediately was like, I love him. <laughs> and so now I was able to save up and now I have a C6 R4 Sino. And a Sino is like, people are predicting that he's going to get a rerun soon. And I'm planning on R5-ing his Staff of Scarlet Sands uh when he reruns i'm so excited then i'll have c6 r5 and i'm one artifact away from having like the perfectly statted sino i'm so excited oh my god and then he like the webtoon too came out and i was like oh my gosh this boy i love him <laughs> but then again my whole aesthetic is like ancient egypt so it's kind of expected <laughs> that i would like him Um, oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? Uh, that's a fucking mood. <laughs> Sometimes I get up in the morning and I'm like, uh, my back. Uh, how long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe those achy bones before I head outside. Mm. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. Mm. Collect ingredients to craft a mending poultice. Forest herb. Uh, guessing... Forest herb, mushroom, mushroom. Craft a mending poultice with your grimoire. I can just do it anywhere? <gasps> hey, yo, real shit. Oh, that's so nice. <gasps> oh my gosh, and you summon a pentagram? That's cool, I like that. Mending poultice to heal, yeah. Go outside. Uh <laughs> Um, I'm kind of surprised she just slept in her chair and left the door open for a goat to do all that damage. Then again, kind of surprised it's the first time someone got in there, right? I think, I think the goat, go the goat, the goat just kind of, uh, pushed his way in, probably. Goats are tenacious little creatures. I think I haven't seen one in this one, but I have not refined it yet. I'm broke in the game. Don't even worry about it. Don't even, see, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed and... A, a responsible whale, okay? <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. I have Genshin built into my budget. You don't have to worry. <laughs> you are good. Uh, Sino is good, in my opinion, as, at C0, R0. So you're fine. Hell, he's good without his weapon, because there are other weapons that, that can handle it too, so... You're you're fine. You're play the game how you want to play it. All characters are are good. All characters can be built well. You got it. Artifacts are more important anyway. You're golden. I'm sure your Sino is amazing and does big boy numbers. That's all that matters. <laughs> um but if you're curious on how my Sino does, just out of curiosity, I do have a bunch of my archive streams on YouTube that show me doing Spiral Abyss. And the numbers are so aggressive that it actually lags my stream a lot. <laughs> and it's so funny because you'll just see purple number and then like my stream shuts down for a second. <laughs> it, kill it kills me every time when I'm working on uh, clipping stuff. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Sino, no! Oh, I'm a whale too. I just simp over too many characters! <laughs> but whales unite. Hey, so long as you're being responsible with your money, that's all that matters. I don't I don't advocate for like spending money on gacha games recklessly, but I do advocate for spending money on things that make you happy so long as you're not foregoing, you know, financial responsibilities. So yeah, if you're a whale and you can afford to be a whale, do it. If you can't afford to be a whale, well, just just get get by with getting like Welkin and call it a day because you could get 90 wishes from Welkin. Um, so, hey, yo, 60% crit rate and like 200% crit damage. Oh, that's so good. I think mine is around the same too. I think mine has like 55% crit rate and then like 206 crit damage. So I subbed a bit more towards the crit damage, but that's really, really good. 
whether you whale or not, whether how many constellations you have or what character you have, artifacts will always haunt you. <laughs> artifacts the bane of everyone's existence. Um, that's not my money. <laughs> my ex is funny. Incredible. Outstate. Perfection. I spend like 100 euros on it max. That's valid. That's valid. And hey, if it's if it's a shitty ex, great. <laughs> you step outside into a human marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch. Close your eyes for a wink. And the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to the weeds. I feel that. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bra bra bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? <laughs> I love her, her, how she talks. It is so, it's so charming. You could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. Press minus to open your map and get a better look at your surroundings. Oh, I, she's, I aspire to be like her. She is so, me too. <laughs> she is so relatable. I love it. Um, it was a shitty ex. I felt bad when he did it, but now I'm sad I didn't make him spend more. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, you know what? Hell yeah. <laughs> We've all had shitty exes. People who are just like absolutely nasty. You know? And hey, if they offered, they offered, you know? If this was Ooh, that's a pretty statue. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna take that. Hello, goat. Bah. I, <laughs> the goat has bangs and I don't know how to feel about it. Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Apparently. Bah, oh, I, what the fuck? <laughs> the goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. <laughs> ah. Yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? Apologies. What? It's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck, there's dirt in its mouth. Puh, puh. You could talk? Of course I could talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, man. <laughs> you ate my book! <laughs> It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken. Though I suppose time flows time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear, if you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. The goat nods his head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Open your witch's eye with Y to inspect objects and creatures and discover their weaknesses. Um, even in the least likely of places, the sitting share. So Ivy always finds a way. Um, oh, up here. Stone pillar. Uh unveiling powder and usually a large standing stone wrapped with enchanted gravings. The recipe learned unveiling powder. Ew, not the hairball, right? Absolutely disgusting. Anybody who has cats knows the, 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 the rage that you feel when you find a hairball. Not at your cat, just in general for the hairball being there. Just the pure disdain of just the hairball. You don't blame your cat. No, 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 no. You just look at the hairball and you blame the hairball for its existence. <laughs> don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can, you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses living below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone but they are too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as the result of abyssal possession. <laughs> By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes, recipes to craft in your grimoire. All right, what do I need here? Oh, I, I, hag, shroom, seeker, vine, 
and pine nut. Do I have to go? Do I have to go inside to craft it? I have enough. Some shears. Um. Let's see. I'll grab more seeker vine. There. I don't know why it like was like no nah, you can't i guess i just had to pick up one of the ingredients um nice you smear a handful of the glowing powder onto the rooms of the doorway a cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and it envelops the entrance in its aura you squint attempting to discern the meaning of the letters they appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet what gibberish is this it looks like it was carved by a frightened hen it's chicken scratch. Hmm. It must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. Missing a vine. Oh, fuck you. Why didn't you say that sooner? Let's see. Gotta find some shears. Shears. Cool. Wonderful. I wonder then, can I... Well, I have shears. Yeah, see? Now I have shears. Look at that. Nice. I feel like I'm going to need these later. I feel like I could t I should be able to pick up the shovel, but Oh well. Um All right, cool. A quick snip. With much protesting and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Goat can't see, but still managed to get in the house and eat the book? I know, right? Like, God, this guy is helpless. You did dummy? Yeah, you are dummy. You are dummy, chat Nubis. Don't worry. Okay, I can listen now. I hear goat. Are you the goat? No, I'm not the goat. <laughs> I'm the witch. <laughs> I'm just shearing uh, the goat's bangs off. <laughs> uh, you could uh, shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. How are you, Jay, by the way? How are you faring? Ah, much better. Oh my, were you always this grotesque or is my memory failing me as well? Fuck you, dude. You're a jerk. <laughs> Watch your tongue or I'll give it a good snip too. Now, can you read the runes or not? Hmm, <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. A space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall unroot the stone. Braziers burn and await the, the crone. Crone? Who's it calling a crone? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look. Why at those braziers? I see. Frog slime. Shiny stone. Dog hair? And a blue feather. Dog hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep? 
I don't think so, but feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole world outside this little swamp, you know. See that gateway over there? The one with the lo lovely green flame? The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these these creaky joints some good. That's a mood. I too have creaky joints. Too much time indoors is bad for the humors. Oh, the humors. That's a reference to like old, old medicine. Is that a scythe? I want that scythe. Hey, yo, Seeker Vine. Um, I'm good, tired, long drives. But Ramsey, you are... <laughs> are you calling me a goat? <laughs> no, I know. I know what you mean. That's stinky. Um, you're tired, long drive. Yeah, I imagine. You went, you went so far. I hope you uh, rest up. Feel free to vibe. Feel free to chill. I hope you had a fun time, though. Not gonna lie, I like the goat better with the bangs. Honestly, me too. <laughs> Thick, tangled vines have overgrown the ruined entrance. Something sharper than your fingernails will be needed to get through. <clears throat> Give me one second. I'm drinking fluids. All right. I... Hell yeah. Snipping and tearing, your shears make short work of the bramble. Into the darkness. I don't know where this will take me. I don't know if this is where I was supposed to go in the first place. Ooh. Space between. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone dais. Time seems to flow backwards, or maybe it speeds forwards. An oppressive, star-filled void stretches as far as you can see, though there is no wind or sound in this void. A warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Ooh. Earth seed. This is so cool! Okay, as a as a pagan, all right, as a pagan witch, uh, and I'm very I'm very transparent about the fact that I'm pagan and practice witchcraft. I am very, very clear about it. As a pagan witch, I am in love with this, like just absolutely in love with all of the references to actual like witchcraft practices, like specific practices. I'm seeing astral projection references. I'm seeing references to herbology. I'm seeing references to all of these sorts of practices. There was the reference to the humors, which is um, medicinal magic nowadays. Like it was, it's also a reference to old medis, meta, medical practices back in like the 1400s, but that has carried over into like um, other magical practices in the modern day. And it's just, it's so nice. I am, I am living for this game. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I could like gush about this game. This is gonna give me like, kind of like how Assassin's Creed gives me the whole like ability to gush about chematism or like ancient Egypt. This gives me the opportunity to, to gush about paganism as a whole. And I'm, I am living the dream right now. This is <laughs> what being a streamer is all about. <laughs> oh, incredible. I would have never known about this game had uh, it not showed up on my TikTok, actually. A hatchet might break these apart. Hello, who are you? Ooh, you're pretty. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly, she nearly hits you with her spyglass. A bird watcher? Ah, oh, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Fucking mood. Research, what is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why? The famed indigo tufted forest lark. They're said to be, ooh, that sounds pretty. They're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one perchance? Excuse me. You glance upwards at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. I haven't, sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland creature, stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Aw, 
Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments watching its behavior and you'll learn everything you need to know about it. Observation is the key. X. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances, glances vacantly at you before pop, uh, pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. <laughs> oh, no. Bird, skittish songbird, enjoys eating seeds. Twig. Bird watcher, a far away look in her eye as she looks up, looks upon the far away. That's cute. Bird. Oh, there's a squirrel right there. Possessing, possesses an energy for outpacing its tranquil home. Snap traps is its weakness. I could trap these animals. I could, I could murder these animals. I can hunt in this game. Fair enough. What's up there? Ash pile. Ooh, products of a byproducts of a fire. Nice. Ooh, grabbing my other leg. Give me a second. If anybody doesn't know, I sit with like one leg perpetually propped up on my knee. <laughs> it helps me stretch out my my hips while I stream. Uh, so fun fact: if you ever hear me struggling, that's because I'm trying to lift my leg up onto my other leg. A simple trap is what I need. Or I could just stab it. Don't do that. Don't stab animals, please. Um... Where are we going here? Where to come from? Where do we go? Where do we come from? Ah, Nigel. Ah. What's over here? Forest herb. And by nut. Another in by nut. Oh my god. I kill the man. Hello. Evening, ma'am. Come to check on the pottery? I'm afraid I just fired the kilns up, so they'll be a while still. Excuse me. Pottery? Bah, I was just admiring that fine canine over there. Hit Y to see interactable things. I did that. Oh my gosh, hi, Saja. How are you? I hope you're doing well. You point to a scraggly looking mutt patrolling the yard. May I give her a petting? <laughs> oh, you can try, but I wouldn't if you value your finger. She's a touch bitey today and doesn't much like people going near the ovens. I have a way with animals. Surely I can find something to calm her down. All right. Felt tempered, snaps at anything that comes too close. Spor sporific mushrooms. All right, how do I make that? A warm gobbet of animal flesh soaked with sleeping magic, useful against dogs. Um, okay, so. Worker work. Let's craft. S I knew that these would come in handy. So let's craft some wicker work, then a snap trap, and that way I can. I need a jar of water and a leth cap, but that way I can have the meat that I need for. Um, catching these animals, right? Um, how do I use it? Um, it's in my tool belt. Do I just like... I gotta remember it. I'm in love with this game's art style, right? It's so pretty. I'm in love with the game's like storybook art style. I'm in love with all the like pagan references as a pagan. It just is so nice. Everything is so good. I recommend this game. If you haven't played it, please play it. It's so good. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the, it taught me, but I'm, am I bad at, at, at learning shit? I gotta figure out how do I place it? How do I place the snap trap? 
Okay, hold on. Because I need the dog's hair, right? Forester. I have a trap, though. How do I... Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah! Okay, cool. I did it. All right, I figured it out. I figured it out. <laughs> I'm just a dumb ass. That's, that's what's happened here because I didn't look down at the bottom of the screen. <sighs> Aren't I a fool? A buffoon, even. <laughs> Maybe you need to put bait in it. There's more meat. Is there more meat? Where did you see more meat? Oh, you're right. Oh my God. I got three. <laughs> you, see, look at you. Look at you guys, chat. You're, you're helping me. Although chat Nubis, you're still stinky. Whew. Shiver. Get to got some coals with the right tool. Hello, good sir. May I have your axe? Aye, you there. Give me a hand, would you? With what? You seem to have everything under control. Those stumps aren't going anywhere. My darn useless son was supposed to help me, but he's wandered off again, probably to go bother some frogs and eat bugs or some such nonsense. Eat bugs? Ask, ask him a question, Jay. <laughs> That's cursed as fuck. Us helpful always. <laughs> Jay, shush. <laughs> Jay, you're only helpful in making me laugh. <laughs> me at itching my ankle. Hold on. Okay. Anyway, I need clearing away uh, some of these dead logs. It's late in the season and the wood has started to rot. Rotting wood can still be used in a fire. Just be careful of the purple mushrooms that sometimes grow inside. They'll make you powerful sleepy if you breathe in the spores. As much as I do love poisonous fungi, I'm not much of a lumberjack. Nonsense! Anyone can experience the joys of splitting a fine stump. Here, my boy won't be missing this, his hatchet. I guess I have a hatchet now. Um... Well, I guess now I have this. Although there's not- oh, here. There we go. <gasps> yes! A less cap! Okay, so they're inside trees! I see, I see! Oh, I see! Uh, I'm having a good time. Cool. Alright. That's what I need. I need the less caps. Um, this game is so fun. His son sounds based, right? Sounds like a job well done. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked you haven't uh, used my TTS bot. You must not have the points right now. <laughs> you always like to curse my TTS bot. I feel like you'll use my TTS bot. Oh my gosh, there's the sun. Can you put those frogs down? I don't like how you're holding those frogs. Ragamuffin? His name is Ragamuffin? <laughs> hey, if, if my parents named me Ragamuffin, I think I'd avoid them like the plague, too. <laughs> Oi, lady, what's with that great, great stinking pot on your head? Oh my god, you're a jerk. I'm gonna throw you in the lake now. I would ask the same about all those stinking frogs in your trousers. Aw, you're just jealous. The boy fumbles between trying to wrangle all his frogs and swiping ineffectually at wayward fireflies with a shoddy looking bug net. Juggling a little more than it can handle, eh? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish flailing about like that? Are you daft? Me frogs are hungry, so I gotta catch some of these fireflies to feed them. He takes another wild swing, missing his target entirely. 
Why don't you let me take a few of those frogs off your hands for a moment? That would let you swing that net properly. Oh, I see how it is. You're after me precious prizes. Well, how about I give you the net and you catch me some fireflies? Then maybe I'll think about trading you one of my froggies. Okay, bet. Oh, there's like a fairy girl here. Fairy dust! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe I I, I murdered the, a fairy. Just straight up, just killed her. She's dead. She dead! Goodbye, Tinkerbell! <laughs> Come back here, I'll chop you good! We just... <laughs> Making baby sounds. Oh, the crunch you made! It went. Ramesses, I don't want your Snapchat. I want you to snap my neck. Uh, you want me to snap your neck? I bet. <laughs> Meet me out back uh, behind the Denny's and, and then we'll talk. <laughs> It'll be the best moment of your life, I swear. <laughs> Alright, gonna head out. Have to go to college tomorrow, so I gotta wake up early. Enjoy your stream in the game. Take care of yourself. Uh, make sure you rest up. Do what you gotta do. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you again for the raid. I appreciate it so much. And also, uh, thank you for chatting with me about, uh, Sino. That was very, very cool. I love talking to other Sino mains. Feel free to pop in at any time and have a good day tomorrow at Cool Egg. You Cool Egg. Yucky Cool Egg. Are there any more fireflies around here? Yes, no, maybe so. Um, love some cursed TTS. And yeah, me too, sometimes. But I prefer to be the cursed TTS as opposed to receiving the cursed TTS. What the fuck did you just drop? Your controller. Great. <laughs> Chat Nubis just dropped his controller on the floor. <laughs> um, I cast physical battery. I don't have my TTS notes. Damn, make new ones. Um. <laughs> oh, there's another five flower here. Um, yeah. Come here. Yeah. Okay. Come here, fairy. I'm gonna keep- I hate how she screams! Well, those hoppers aren't gonna stick around with empty bellies. The faster you catch the five flies, the faster we can eat. Or, I mean, the frogs can eat. Here you go. The boy shakes the jar, rattling the captured insects like pennies in a piggy bank. Oh, these are nice and juicy. The lads are gonna feast tonight. Now, about our deal. You agreed to tra trade me one of your pets there. Ha ha ha, what deal? I don't remember making no deal. Frolk squirms out of the boy's overalls and plops by his feet with a wet slap. Dang it, there goes Slippery Pete. He takes a clumsy swipe at the amphibian, but the creature squeezes out of his grasp and bounces into the underbrush. Aw, oh, shucks, I never liked him anyways. If you could catch him, he's all yours. Ugh. Murdered! Murdered! <laughs> He's dead. That bitch dead. <laughs> that bitch ain't coming back. <laughs> um, jar. Okay, so I need a jar of water. Um, I don't remember what I need the frog slime for. I feel like I need it for something. But I, I don't know what at this point. Fork, Fork dead. I killed Fork, sorry. Fork no longer. Um, in order to dish it out, you gotta be able to take it. You know, that's fair. <laughs> Rodent lard. That, mm. Pretty sure that's from the squirrel I killed. Um, are you sure? What do you mean, am I sure? Am I sure of what? Jars, uh, jars don't end well. Oh no, put me in the jar, Ramses. Jars don't end well, Jay. I saw somebody post about, on Twitter, about being in a jar, and I responded as the only person who understands internet history would, 
and I don't think they knew what I was talking about. Because <laughs> they were, it was a picture of their um, model in a jar, and I was like, oh no, not again. <laughs> and they were like, the fuck are you talking about? What happened? <laughs> And it was the most interesting interaction ever. It's weird that there are people who are either not online enough to remember this or are too young to remember the jar incident. But anytime I see anyone in a jar, I get scared. <laughs> it's like trauma. I know we spoke about it before. Yeah, don't. Are you sure you want to be put into a jar? I can put you in a jar if you want to be put in the jar, and then I'll put you behind the, the furnace. But, like, are you sure you really want that? It was very <laughs> jarring. <laughs> well, Wisher. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I don't know about this. You tap the man's shoulder and he nearly tumbles headfirst into the well. Ah! What's the matter with you? I could have fallen in. I tapped you on the shoulder, my guy. Then perhaps you shouldn't be leaning over the edge like some wobbly stork. What's so interesting down in this well anyway? Well, my grandpappy used to tell me that people drop all sorts of treasure down there. Just waiting for someone to dig it up. Got myself a trowel and thought I'd give it a go. But the rope's out and it looks awfully dark and damp. I get goosebumps just thinking about the ghoulies that might be lurking down there in the shadows. Ever consider that those ghoulies might get goosebumps thinking about you lurking up here in the sunlight? Uh, no, not really. Not sure if it makes me feel any better about them, actually. Maybe the business of treasure hunting isn't for me after all. Here, why don't you take my trowel? I don't think I'll be needing it. You can go down to the well and see those ghoulies yourself. I bet. This old well is deep and dark. You might be able to climb down into it, but the rope has long since rotted away. You toss a length of strong homemade rope down into the darkness. It seems like it should support you without much fuss. Hell yeah. All right, uh, how do I? Yeah. We'll go down. I have a trowel now, which is what the other tool that I needed. Ooh. Ooh. Um. <gasps> stone! I got a shiny stone, guys! Come here. Come here. Hell yeah. Oh, this, this is, I like this game a lot. I hope I don't have any inventory. It's like I don't get overstuffed on inventory. Cause that would suck ass. Don't limit my inventory game, please. That's the only thing that would make you a perfect game is if you didn't limit my inventory. Cause I could like so much random shit. Anyone who's watched my Minecraft streams know. I don't think Jay realized when I played with him last week how full my inventory was the whole time. <laughs> I always had tools for a reason. My inventory was always stuffed to the brim. More rock. Check the we weakness of the wall. Oh, that one? Empty jar. Oh, I can get an empty jar. Okay. Oh, then I can get, I can get water. Can I craft it? Also, this music's so good. <gasps> oh, almost. Campfire ember. Oh, I can get the ember from the campfire. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we're progressing so fucking fast. All right, let me let me mine out this this area first, and then I I will go up there and go get the campfire. Because now I have the trowel, which means I can get the campfire embers, right? More shiny stones! Darkened Nook, a cozy burrow for a creature who prefers to be left alone. Um. Locked. Damn. How about I take this hatchet and then go to investigate the creature? Something stirs inside but does not emerge. I see. Does it have a weakness? 
No, it does not. Not as far as I know. It might might want a, a specific trap later down the line, but hell if I know about it. Yeah, I know. I investigated the chest and it's locked. I can't I can't open it. The creature in the duck probably um, has the key, but I don't know how to get it out. So we're going to come back later. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Can I not burp, please? Hell yeah. Okay. So now I can craft that. And I have an empty jar now. All right. So now I can go back down there. And that will give me the water. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, so now I have the jar of water. Which, now I should be able to craft this, the sporific, sporific potion. And then, with that, I should be able... To use it on the dog. When this is done loading. <laughs> All right. Come on, you got this. Yay! All right, so now let's go back here. Ah. Damn. I got hit. It did me damage. Um. Let's see. Um, damn, that dog really got me, didn't it? All right, so now I've forgotten how to use the uh, the spells so uh we're <laughs> we're gonna figure that out now <laughs> um Ooh. um I'm moving you over here, you over here, and you over here. Uh, let's see. How do I... I, I did die. I did, in fact, die. Um... Oh, I have to make a sporific morsel. That's what I got to do. Okay. Okay, so... There. Yeah! Quick snip with my shear should do it. There we go. Oh, 
Set Sprite. Come back here. Hell yeah. I don't know what that's for, but we'll figure out later, I guess. An empty jar. Steal all that. I could dig out some coals. Hopefully it doesn't wake up. If it woke up while I was like in this this area here, that would suck ass. Uh okay, I'm good now. Did you find my dog a treat yet? I did. Yay! I have dog hair! Um now I just need a blue feather, which I think I could just get if I trap one of the birds, right? Um would be a shame if someone would pop a balloon over his head, right? <laughs> also, hello, Recrow. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're vibing and alive. All right, so wicker work. Um, and then a trap. Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to find a bird. All right. Yes! Hell yeah. Frog slime, blue feather, shiny stone, and dog hair. That's all I need for those brassiers. I should head home now. Hell yeah. Look at us. Look at us go. Okay. Into the decay. All right, let me read up real quick, because chat's picking up. Um, how are you, Recro? You're doing good work. It was really chill today. I reckon that won't last. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you were able to vibe that work was easy and chill and not too stressful for you. Um, and that I hope that <laughs> things can stay chill, but I probably won't. Um, hi, coming into Lurk. Be well, homies. Yeah, you got <laughs> you got VIP now, Brioche. I yeah, you you've had VIP, and I did remember, thankfully. But no, enjoy your Lurk. Feel free to vibe. Thank you for stopping by. I'm doing well. I am tired, but I have some pumpkin spice coffee, which, by the way. That's what I use to hydrate brioche because you said that coffee was fine. So I, I'm hydrating off of coffee, but I have a lot of drinks. I have some water. I have my well, I have two things of water. One is a water bottle and one is um, that we bought for the tropical storm that hit us in case our power went out and our water got fucked because um, that happens a lot around here. So I got bottled water. I don't normally buy it. I tend to use just filtered water that I make at home in a reusable cup, but that time was an exception. I also have a cup of like normal filter water. I have my liquid IV. I have coffee and I have some hot chocolate. So I'm, I'm vibing. I'm living the dream. <laughs> um, things never stay chill <laughs> over a long time. The fates simply do not allow it. You know what? You're right there. But hey, at least we're going to have fun stories. They may be infuriating now or even just frustrating, but the later down the line, we can all laugh about it. And that's what matters. Um, but no, I'm actually really, I, I'm in a pretty good mood, even though I'm absolutely exhausted because I, I am really tired. <laughs> I got like six hours of sleep, which doesn't sound like it was too little, but my TBI makes it so that way I need like closer to eight to nine hours of sleep in order to be fully, fully entirely comfortable, not functional. I can function off of as little as three hours of sleep, but I need, I need like <laughs> seven to like nine in order to feel good um so i'm really tired because i only got like six <laughs> um but this game is kind of restoring my spoons a lot this is a really fun game it's 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 making me feel good uh the brazier awaits an offering bird feather 
A strong force pulls the feather down to the large basin like a magnet. It bursts into a bright flash of light as cold flames engulf its essence. Nice. The brazier awaits an offering. Dog hair. The dog hairs take a moment to fall from your fingers, slithering down to the base of it one by one. The fur bristles into foul-smelling coils before erupting into a cold green flame. Uh, frog slime. You gently squeeze the- Ew, Ooh, that's a bad steal. <laughs> you gently squeeze the globs of wet slime from your satchel into the basin. The mucus bubbles and pops before the cold flames reduce it to a fine odorless ash. Ugh. Uh, shiny stone. You drop the stone into the basin with a resounding chiming sound. Fractures trace across the pebble before it cracks open and a cold green light swallows it with its flames. The emerald flames of the braziers play strange shadows across the stone doorway. You watch as fingers of shadows crawl up the rock face and crack open the solid granite like stale bread. Ugh, not stale bread. The stone crumbles away into darkness, revealing a yawning stairway descending down into the cold earth. After you, madam. Uh, can I save? No, this game auto saves. Oh yeah, I did remember reading of you where it was kind of going through the gateway, where this game was a little buggy when it first released because it's obviously it's an indie game, uh, but auto saved saved a lot of playthroughs, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I need to adjust again. So don't mind me, as you hear my chair creaking audibly, like my bones are. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> My mobility is not too hot today. I'm very, like, um, stiff-jointed today. It's not very fun. Um. Ooh, this is beautiful. Is this an altar? Oh. It's a temple. Sleeping maiden. Encased inside a gilded crystal coffin lies the body of a young woman. Though she sleeps in an enchanted slumber... Her ageless features express a deep sadness. Aww. The sound of cloven hooves echo against the marble floor as the goat comes to your side. Oh my goodness! Hello, Haru! Thank you so much for the lurk. Feel free to vibe. Thank you for stopping in, and I hope you're feeling well. Have you tried leeches? Sorry, it means stretching. I have actually never been bitten by a leech, and I don't want to be. <laughs> but I have tried stretching, and um, it works to moderate success. Because uh, I have to be very careful with stretches. Otherwise, I'll dislocate a joint, and I don't want to do that. But, like, I have done stretches a lot, and they do help, but they don't, like, reduce all the problems. Because I, I have to be very careful with how far I stretch, which is a little bit of a issue so like i can't stretch it out completely because if i stretch it out completely i might hyperextend, which <laughs> means that just one little breath of air will cause my knee to go backwards and nobody wants that <laughs> we can change that <laughs> i don't know if the leeches will find my my decaying body palatable <laughs> when something isn't she do you remember bringing her to me i brought her to you why who is she I haven't the faintest idea! All I know is you brought her lifeless form to my doorstep and begged me to save her soul. Save her from what? And why is she asleep? Why, from the twelve wicked souls whom you said wronged her in life. Villains who deceived her and cheated her and broke her spirit. And as we agreed, here she will sleep until our contract is fulfilled. Until you bring me those twelve wicked souls. What? I remember no such contract. Our pact is binding, regardless of what you do or do not remember. At the goat's words, you feel something hard and dark locked away in the depths of your heart. It speaks the truth. And just why should I do your bidding? Seems like a lot of bothersome trouble, bothersome trouble to me. What do you do? I care about some sleeping beauty. Bring me the twelve souls, and I will release the sleeping maiden from her slumber. Our agreement will be fulfilled. Who knows, in times you may even remember why you brought her to me in the first place. Or you can simply return to the comfort of your little hovel. Where you will waste away until the weeds grow so thick that not even your shears will be able to cut you free. And your mind will stay as empty as that grimoire of yours. But it is a big decision to make so hastily, why don't you sleep on it? A heavy weight fills your marrow, your eyelids flutter, barely able to stay open. What have you done to me? I... I can't stay awake. Oof. 
Only one way to find out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, not the leeches. Anything but the leeches. I fear I might squish them. <laughs> we got bamboozled. We did. We got, we got bamboozled. God, I love this house so much. It's so pretty. I, I love the, the, the organized clutter. It is so nice. All right, to the outside. Let's see what's going on here. Granny chair. Yeah, granny chair. We have a granny chair. It's so nice. It's so great. I live for it. I'm living and thriving. Good morning. I trust you made up your mind. Will you collect the souls I've asked for? Or would you prefer to stay stuck in this festering swamp? All right, all right. No need to get your horns in a twist. I'll do as you ask. You haven't given me much choice. Splendid. As it happens, I can already sense the first four souls we seek. Two are in the forest, another in the swamp to the north, and the last in the fields to the south. Could you be more specific? Near a shapely stump? Perhaps inside a tree with a face? By an overgrown mushroom grove? What do I look like? A compass? Go out there and look for yourself. Damn. The Sleeping Maiden. That's my nice video. Okay. Excuse me. Goat is over there. The goat. I'll help you out. Trust me. The goat. The, I, I have a feeling the goat is a liar. He's a fibber. <laughs> um... Did you make up your mind, bro? We just woke up. How about the coffee first? I know, right? God. He's he's a bit of a nuisance, I'd say. Um Alright, let's let's harvest everything, because that's what I do in games like this. I don't harvest as I need them. I, I harvest as I find them. <laughs> and usually it pays off. All right, so uh, da dum dum, mushroom, mushroom, ba. Okay. So now the bear in the forest, the ox in the fields, the leech, leech in the swamp, and the snake. Oh, I have to catch a snake. Oh no! I prefer my rodent, Tom Nook. Thanks. I same. <laughs> <laughs> Why? He seems trustworthy. If you close your eyes, they're deaf, right? <laughs> he doesn't seem very trustworthy to me. He feels like a, a fucking fibber. A liar. To the forest. Wait, can I? Alright, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get the bear first. Why does all the cursed shit happen when I'm driving? I don't know. Your car conjures, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should just be here all the time. <laughs> okay. Um. Let us explore. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, fuck. What is that? A triad? Maybe this tree seems particularly angry about something. Maybe I would think. I need a cinder box. How do I make that? I need one more firefly. And then I can craft it. So let's go craft the cinder box and see if I can murder a tree. Oh shit. I went into another area. Whoopsie. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> chop them. <Inci> <laughs> the trees are alive. Burn, incinerate, chop them. Oh, God. Okay, we'll go back to the forest. I don't want to go in there yet. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, burn the whole forest. Uh, <laughs> Ramsey's killing fairies and making neck snapping in your windows and I can't participate. Chris, do you want me to snap your neck? <laughs> I can. I do, however, appreciate you bullying the mutt in my apps. I always bully the mutt. What are you talking about? <laughs> the mutt is a mutt. Oh, I need to make a healing poultice. Oh, I can make this? Shit. Yay! 
Um, I'll make one of those because I'm noticing that I have one heart short and I don't want that. Um, let us see. Ooh. Forest herb. Come here, frog. Yeah. The fairy fucking screams and it sends me every time. God. And then the fucking baby mushroom that I just... <laughs> and the sound of it being chopped. It goes clunk. <laughs> and you realize you took a hatchet to like a baby mushroom. And it's like a little laugh. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, I'm gonna say not snapping my neck because either you mean actually snapping my neck or it's an Indio. No, my wife would be pissed. I hope your wife would be pissed either way, regardless of if it's an innuendo or not. <laughs> Because if it is an innuendo, yeah, I hope your wife is pissed about that. If it's not an innuendo, that's murder, and I hope your wife is pissed about that. <laughs> Both are pretty bad, I think. <laughs> Come here. Hell yeah. Oh no, the dog! The dog is back! Shit. The dog is back for vengeance. Uh... <laughs> cool. Alright. Um... Hell yeah. It's just fucking screaming. He'll... He'll cool off eventually. Damn. Oh god. How do I kill you? A dreadful doll. I... No, 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 no. That takes me into the swamp. All right, so how do I make a dreadful doll? Oh, I don't have any of those ingredients. A sewing kit? How do I get a, a ski, a what snoot? <laughs> a ha <huh> snoot? <laughs> Twitch is a dick. You're back? You got a fucking ad. I get no ads the entire time I'm driving home and it waits till I can talk. <laughs> Which said nah. Alright, so I'm gonna... Alright, so I need... I need to like... Come behind the dog here. Don't go. Come back here. <laughs> Every time. Don't, don't, don't attack me. Very shrine, curious. Unknown. Don't attack me, Dogo. You're a good boy. Don't attack me, but... Guard dog, foul temper, snaps at anything that comes to. Don't, don't, I'm not, I don't exist. See, look, I'm safe. Snap trap, and then what did it give me? A steak. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, hello? Oh, there's a gnat. Oh no. 
Hello, welcome in, Raiders! <laughs> Let me shout you out. <laughs> yeah, you're Dimmer Dell, man. <laughs> Hello, Raiders. Go follow team people. They're really cool. <laughs> VIP. <laughs> yeah, really though. <laughs> yeah, which one is awesome? Okay, let me. As this is happening, um, let's see here. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. For those that don't know, hi, everybody. I'm Lord Ramsey, your resident pharaoh, back from the dead. I'm a variety streamer that likes to talk about pagan topics, disability topics, and LGBTQ topics, since I'm part of all three communities. Uh, feel free to vibe and chill in here. I am a streamer that likes to create a safe space for everybody who comes in here. Um, feel free to vibe. Team people, if you are tired after your long stream, feel free to dip, or you could tell me about your stream. I would love to hear about it. I posted a I did the shout out thing what were you doing lies of p i've never heard of that game i hope you had a good time feel free to tell me about it also welcome in twilala i think that's how you say that uh twilala welcome uh telenok welcome uh welcome in everybody Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for the follows! Thank you for following en Enrius and en Ross. Also welcome. Uh, <laughs> and thank you for the follow, Telenok and Twilala. It's very, it's very sweet of you all. Um, there was, sure was a lot of lying and a lot of pee. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stream was a lot of fun. It's a Souls-like game based on a dark, twisted version of Pinocchio. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. That seems really fun. Oh. Also, for those who don't know what this game is, we're playing Witchwood. I saw somebody in the chat already reckon recognize it. It's a very good, cozy game. Uh, I'm playing it for day four of my Ghastly Gala, which is my Halloween stream event, where I play uh, between... 20 to 31 different like horror or horror themed games so this game has a lot of like spooky imagery and stuff in it even though it's not actually horror uh just more of like a halloweeny kind of autumnal game uh so yeah if you don't know what this game is a lot of people describe it as kind of being like stardew valley or animal crossing but with a bit of plot and a combat system so yeah <laughs> if that's interesting to you i recommend playing it it's so fun i'm having a good time right now I've been gushing about witchy stuff this whole time. <laughs> um, only team people could su sully Pinocchio on stream. Honestly, I, I, I expect nothing less. <laughs> it was sullied when I got there. Looks very comfy. It's very, very comfy. It's a great game. The artwork is super unique. I agree. It's a very storybook-esque artwork. We are currently in the quest where we collect the first four souls. So that's where we're at right now. Um, there's a woman crying over there. I just lit a dryad on fire and I axed a baby mushroom. So, you know, weeping maiden, <laughs> you approach a young woman weeping sorrowfully into her palm. She catches her breath for a moment and looks out longingly over the placid lake. Oh, my sweet songbird, why have you forsaken me to a life devoid of your love? Tears well up in her eyes as she buries her face once again. You consider leaving this melodrama well enough alone, but something about the poor girl reminds you of the maiden slumbering under your house. You draw out a tattered handkerchief and offer it to the maiden. There, there, dry your eyes, my child, and tell old granny what the matter is. <laughs> Damn. Oh, 
thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> I love games that have a very unique style. It's difficult to accomplish with the number of games out there. I agree, actually. I love games that, like, take risks and stuff. It, it's very... It's a very nice breath of air to see instead of just getting the same old same old um and this game i'd say so far is is definitely bypassing my expectations my the bar for this game for me wasn't insanely high but it wasn't low um but it is it is definitely feeling very nice it's definitely meeting the expectations i had and going above them so that's pretty cool um <laughs> no that's one test um it's my beloved, such a sweet and romantic man with the voice of a metal lark. He drowned himself? Did he die? I get it. He dumped you. <laughs> no, he's in the lake. He's under the lake, I bet. Well, don't worry. There's plenty of other frogs in the swamp. What? No, he loves me and I him. Though our families would never allow us to be together. He'd come and sing outside my balcony every night. Oh, I see. This sounds very Romeo Juliet. One night, we both vowed to escape and meet by this lake. Her lip quivers. I waited and waited under the waning moon, even past the morning sun, but he still didn't reveal himself. Tough break. Maybe he just wasn't that. <laughs> the woman snaps at you with sudden vitriol. He would never abandon me. We're destined to be together. She slips back into the melancholic gaze over the lake. Even now, I could still hear the beautiful melody of his lute coming from across the water. Over the dull sounds of flapping waves and quacking waterfowl, faint notes of some faraway stringed instrument whisper through the reeds. Oh, I hear it too. Maybe you aren't just mad in love. <laughs> Damn, the witch is like fucking savage. <laughs> it's coming from somewhere in the middle of the lake. He's out there somewhere. I just know it. She crumples into another dramatic bout of inconsolable tears. Now, now, I'm sure it's just some echo bouncing off the shore. I'll go find where this tardy bard of yours has run off to. All right. Looks like we're finding a bard. New chapter. <laughs> the snake. Ah, so this is the snake one. Woe is me, for my lover has been spirited away. So that's how you found the snake spirit. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta lurk, but I am listening. Thank you, Overcrow. Feel free to vibe. Feel free to pop in at any point. Feel free to mute the volume. That's okay, too. Uh, <laughs> I understand, but thank you for the lurk and for sharing your bandwidth with me. I appreciate it. Also, um, as Streamlabs is saying, I'm going to retouch on this. I haven't in a minute, so I'm going to say it again for those in the back that don't fully get it. Twitch has ads. Um, ads don't make me a lot of money, so if you use an ad blocker, that's okay. I don't mind. Feel free. Um, I won't hate you for it. <laughs> ads pay me literally fractions of a cent. If you want to support me with ads, you can, but you don't have to. Um, so don't feel bad about it. Uh, if you don't want to watch ads and you have that very unique Twitch integration, the, the, not Twitch integration, Chrome integration that I won't specify. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see, what, what do we need to do? Don't attack me. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not here. I don't exist. I I do not exist. Oh god. <laughs> They're coming for me. They're coming for me. <laughs> Looks like Bibble from fucking Barbie. If anybody knows what who that is, I, I I would be honored. What a pretty tree. That is a very pretty tree. Pixie nest. An assemblage of ditrius, ditritus, and face a lot. Ew. But what that some tiny beings call home. Interesting. Uh, no way they are not bibble. He's too good for them. I don't know. Hatching net and unveiling powder. Uh, how, what do I need to make unveiling powder? All right, hold on. Let me move the unveiling powder into my inventory. Don't really need that.
Come here. There we go. Perfection. I caught both of them. Nice. Um. This is pretty neat. I've never seen that in a stream. Wait, what? What's pretty neat? A oh, whoa. Now I'm now I'm curious. Wait, what? Wait, what's what's neat? Just notice the closed captioning. Oh yeah, I do have closed captioning. Yes, I do. Okay, I okay. I'm gonna send this in. I actually just made a command because people were asking me how I did my closed captioning. Um, let me see if I can figure it out. Yeah, there you go. Um, so if you send in the CC's command, you get this little thing. I, you can get closed captionings like the ones I use uh, by clicking the Twitter link and following the instructions. If you need any help, feel free to ask me about it in my Discord. Um, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> I actually, somebody made it using um, Google's innate capturing system, but um, Fun fact for people who don't know, I have auditory processing disorder and I am half deaf. Um, I don't know why my hearing's not that great, but I oftentimes don't hear things. Like, I just don't hear it. Like, if I, it's loud enough, I can hear it. But otherwise, I just don't hear it. And then on top of that, I am autistic and I have a TBI. And both of those contribute to auditory processing disorder. So uh, sometimes I'll hear people talk or I'll hear something. And it kind of sounds like simlish. Like it literally does not, go I, like I cannot understand. It doesn't sound like a language that, I, that I've ever heard in the world. It just, it literally sounds like simlish in my brain. Like that's the best way I can describe it. Um, it literally happens all the time. People will talk to me in real life or on Discord calls, or you've even seen it probably in stream if you've watched any of my collab streams. It happens at least twice <laughs> during every one of my collabs. And so in order to avoid that for people who are like me, I have closed captions on my stream and I encourage everybody in the community to enable closed captions. They're very easy to set up. They're very nice to set up. They can be a little like jank <laughs> sometimes, but they're very, very nice. Like right now my captions are jank, hold on. I'm noticing they're not filling the box. Um, give me one second. Uh, but yeah, I do recommend them. They're very good. They're very nice. They're very helpful. Um, oh, there they're filling the box. Okay, I see what's going on. Um, but yeah, there you go. Fun facts all around. Um, they don't, they're not always centered because uh, how it works is that it, it runs a code a program through your obs and then it utilizes the google recognition voice software to auto transcribe your words into a text program or into a text box but sometimes that text box doesn't like to stay in the same um spot it likes to move around it doesn't like to stay centered like i want it to uh so yeah there you go and it's also not always accurate sometimes it's a little uh funky but honestly finding the people who come into my chat and go Ramsey's just said this huh it's really funny because they know what I said they can use their their brains to figure it out but Jay the little gremlin is always like oh my gosh Ramsey said this huh <laughs> and it's just it's great um it's a nice talking point I think it's a really great thing you implemented, especially to help others like yourself with the auditory hearing problems. Yes! I mean, closed captioning is never perfect for- no, closed captioning never is. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's actually- I found it on Twitter, like, back in April. And I was like, alright, bet. <laughs> and I implemented it, and then now everybody's like, Ramses, how did you get that to work? And um, I ended up putting it into a command in my bot, so that way anybody could figure it out. Or if I get asked, I could just send it in there and- they can have the link and I can explain it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's actually one of the things I get asked most. I at least get asked like once every week or so about how I got my closed captions to work. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set up a command. Uh, so that way I don't have to dig up the link every time and everybody can have access to it anytime they need it. Uh, the music seems strongest on the shore, but even here you can't quite place the source. It seems to be emanating from the half-sunken ruin poking out of the lake's water. Maybe that fool bard's hiding way out there. Bah, but I swim as well as hens fly. Suddenly some unseen voice chitters mockingly into your ear. Excuse me. Ho ho, hee hee, the musical man you'll never see. You spin around, but no one is there. Just a nattering laughter bouncing on the wind. Who's there? Show yourself, spirit. It's a little fey creature. Yeah, right there. 
Elusive Pixie. Humble Basin, once perhaps part of a lovely plaza, now a little more than a birdbath. All right. All right. Um. Let me make sure I've, I've gotten everything. Okay, yes. Thank you for the hydrate and the posture check and the stretch grow. For grow, I'm gonna hydrate now. Mm. Hydrated. Posture check. No longer shall I shrimp. And then a stretch. Let me see if I can get a nice crack on, on the mic. Hold on. Nope, my bones don't want to crack loud. <sighs> oh. And eat salt. Okay, I'll eat salt. Hold on. This is my salt dish. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have a salt dish nearby. <laughs> don't mind me. Thank you, Rickrow, and thank you, no, for making sure I'm not neglecting my health during stream. Um, I need the 12 to get here trap faster. You can change your posture, but you're always the shrimp, bitch. <laughs> and then once you stand up, they all crack out once. That's a fact. Um, that is that is what happens every time. Uh, what's happening on the 12th? Eat salt sounds like a punishment, but for real, they need it for those who don't know. Yes, I do. I have pots. That's why. Add. No! Yeah, I saw add. I was hoping nobody was hitting it. Come here, you little bitch. You snap your hand around the elusive creature and squeeze. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna crush it to death. Back, let me go, you knobbly pot. You're crushing the life out of me. Good. You trifling little pest. What do you know about this music? Music? What music? All I hear is the slapping waves and the peeping birdies. Your wrinkly old ears must be full of bugs. Don't you play smart with me. I'll pop off your head like a daisy. Oh, you mean that music? It's the sound of the snake traveling circus. I thought everyone knew that. Um, you're getting an ad? Oh no. Wait, God, I wish that was me. For crowd, no. Um, uh, but yeah, for those that don't know really quick, because there's a lot of new people in here, uh, I have the eat salt redeem because I have pots. Um, which essentially if you don't know it means that my body doesn't fully regulate my heartbeat properly and so i'll stand up and my heartbeat will skyrocket and it'll cause me to pass out uh, and one of the ways that you can mitigate this with my specific type of pots is by eating salt because salt is a natural receptor in your body that helps uh helps uh signals in your body like move um and kind of like go from one place to the next so I eat salt because it helps me to decrease the risk of that happening due to the proper communication signals being able to be transported properly around my body. Um, Cause mine is mostly linked to like the miscommunication of adrenaline and a couple other uh, microchemicals in, in the body. Um, and it causes my heart rate to go from like 50 sitting. Yeah, I know. I have 50, 50 beats per minute. It's really low. I have a resting heart rate of like 50 beats per minute. I've always had it. And then I'll stand up and it'll jump all the way up to 90 and I'll pass out. So, you know, um, a jump any higher than like 30 is considered a lot. But mine goes up by like 40 to like 50 beats, um, depending on the day, because sometimes it'll jump all the way up to 100. And then if I work out, it goes up to like 140. <laughs> And it's a bad time, so I, I I eat salt to help me regulate that, so I don't don't just fall. Yeah, yeah, I have pots. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Um, when I say I'm chronically ill, I mean it. I have pots. I have H E D S. I have a TBI. My body is fucked, but it's okay. I'm not too upset about it. There's a lot of silver linings that come with it, so I try to focus on those things. And while it does suck to have chronic pain, my joints dislocate like on on a regular basis. My heart doesn't work. I don't care. I I think it's fun to talk about it anyway. Um, I try to be open about it, and I try to be positive about it because even though it kind of sucks. Um, I'd rather focus on the better things in life, uh, than just the fact that I'm chronically ill. Um, the only real downsides that some people aren't accommodating, 
that's a problem. But otherwise, that's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Yeah, Chris, it is. Um, yeah, it, for, for a fun fact about my hypermobility, um, one of the best things that I've ever experienced in my life is when I've been woken up in the middle of the night, and this happens like at least once a week. I wake up in the middle of the night and my shoulder's in a lot of pain, right? And I'll be like, God, the shoulder I'm laying on is in a lot of pain, but I know exactly how to fix it. And I'll roll over a bit onto my shoulder. Like I'll keep my shoulder still under my body and roll over it. So instead of like leaning kind of back, I'm leaning forward and there will be this really loud pop noise and it'll just feel like <laughs> so euphoric how good it feels and that is my shoulder popping back into its socket because <laughs> it dislocates in the night and i'll be like all right let me just roll onto it and then it, you'll just hear this crack and it's like ah oh. <laughs> it's back in place baby and then i'll just go right back to bed <laughs> um but yeah <laughs> That's an example of some of the things. Some days are worse than others, but otherwise I'm okay. Um, I take pain medicine, and while that doesn't work too well, it does help. I also take, like, uh, an acid medication because I have GERD and a bunch of other medicine, too, that helps me navigate the day-to-day -day lives. And while it's not perfect, I'm alive. I have a walker when I go out and a wheelchair for when I'm doing a lot of, like, um, outdoor stuff and... I'm running around like I, I'm going on vacation in a couple months um, and that's going to involve being a bit of a tourist for a change um, and that I'm going to bring my wheelchair and stuff for. So and he asked me once if that was something I experienced before he knew and I was like, no, see a doctor. <laughs> um, but yeah, to anybody who's curious, I am okay. I am all right. It is normal. You might hear me talk about it a bit. Feel free to make jokes. I am all for it. I love making jokes about my uh, chronic illnesses. I think it's really fun to joke about it uh, because there's nothing I can do about it. I was born this way. There is no cure or anything. So I might as well have some fun with it. So don't get too upset or sad about it. I understand that it can be distressing to hear. Um, but education is key. And sometimes, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. So I like to at least appreciate the situation I'm in. And since I have these conditions, the least I can do is educate others about it and hopefully provide a safe space for those who are like me. Um, so my stream closed captions are for those with like auditory processing. I have my stream layout set out for those who are autistic like me um, and so on and so forth. That's why there's like all quite a bit of moving parts on my stream. Um, so that way people who are autistic can focus on stuff while they listen to me talk. Um, that's also why I never, <laughs> I never just stream just chatting is because I know my autistic viewership will not enjoy it. <laughs> um, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm very transparent about my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I'm very transparent about my POTS. I'm very transparent about my traumatic brain injury, which that is a story. Um, I'm very transparent about the fact that I have like absence seizures and all that good stuff. Um, and I like to educate people on it because I'm not in danger. I'm not at risk of dying tomorrow, so I could share about it. It's cool. Uh, I'm going to drink more coffee. But yes, thank you, Rekro, for the respect. Um, it's, it's hard, but I'm having a good time. I'm living the dream. <laughs> That's also why I stream full time, because I can't really work. Um, so if you're ever wondering, Ramses, how do you stream that much? Don't you have a job? No, I can't. <laughs> I literally can't. So this is what I do to pass the time. This is my job. <laughs> um, thankfully, I get the opportunity to do that. And I advocate for other disabled people to be able to do that. Um, but some people can't. And that's that's the unfortunate part. So if you see a disabled streamer and you like their stuff, please support them uh, how you can. Um, I know that not a lot of people can donate, but obviously just just watching their streams helps them immensely so go support them go support the other people who are in vtubers with disabilities they're awesome people i have not met a single shitty person in vtubers with disabilities uh they're all really good so yeah i just remembered i have coffee yeah drink your fucking coffee dude um but it is like what time is it it's like 6 p.m. Are you sure you should be drinking coffee? You have you have to get up at 6 in the morning tomorrow. 
Oh, you mean that music the sound of snakes traveling circus? Circus stays still, but the door's the thing that travels. You see, and right now the door's out on the lake, but you'll never get in. Never. <laughs> oh, wait, no, he said, yeah, <laughs> he did the Skeletor laugh. You give the wretched sp sprite a good shake and a shower of glittering dust sheds off its wings. Tell me how to cross the lake or I'll make a necklace from your teeth. <laughs> Damn. Ach, only fae folk can show the way. Dirty fairies built a bridge. Keep all you big folk out unless the snake invites them in. You're a fairy, aren't you? Where's this bridge? Ha! We're a pixie. Not one of those flamby pamby mushroom hor herders. Besides, the bridge is invisible to big stompers like you. The creature peers over your shoulder and waves its tiny arms. Oh, look, there's a fairy now. Why don't you ask her? You turn to look, but in your moment of distraction, the pixie sinks its sharp teeth into your finger. Ouch, you sneaky little blighter. Springing free from your grasp, the slippery monster chitters a laugh and vanishes in a cloud of smoke. You look down at your dust-covered hand. Fairy or not, this bridge must be around here somewhere. Let's see. I imagine... Hmm. I noticed something, Crypt. Your YouTube link doesn't seem to work. It's just the not- Oh, damn it! <laughs> I just- Okay, listen. Um. Let's see. Uh, it should be- It might not work. Hold on. Did I change- I think it's because I changed my- YouTube. Tag. Um. Well, let me see. Do, 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 do. Let me check. Um. Archives. Ah. Let me see if I can get it up. Hold on. You can also look me up by just typing Crypt Ramses into the search bar, like the same name, and it should pop up as like Crypt Ramses Live. Um, because, and the reason why the link doesn't work, I think, right now is because I'm changing the URL tag currently, but that is a process, and so the URL works finickily while that process is happening. So this link won't always be true. Um, it should change within the next month uh, because I'm originally I had my video essays and my streams on the same YouTube, uh, but now I'm separating them out for uh, just organization purposes. I don't want people who, who just want to watch my streams. I don't want them to have to slog through my video essays and people who just want to watch my video essays. I don't want them to have to slog through my streams either. Um, so that's kind of why that is. Uh, it will change in the future. So here is the link that works right now, but it will change soon. Uh, okay. Awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. But for anybody else who's curious, that's it. Um, there you go. There you go. Um, so yeah, that has all my stream archives. Uh, but soon it'll be changed to something else. And that will redirect to specifically my video essays. Um, pushing aside thrushes and cattails, you find a strangely carved pedestal. It might be mistaken for a bird bath if you didn't know any better. As you run your fingers along the, around the edge of the birds, Hell yeah! Thank you! <laughs> I'm now realizing that that is my YouTube subscriber notification. Um, which I don't know when I set that up. <laughs> but now I'm gonna have to fix it. So you just answered my question, Rakro, because that happened last stream too. Somebody subscribed to my YouTube. And I didn't know why the alert was weird, and I went to go fix it, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So thank you for helping me figure out what was wrong with my alert, because that was my old alert before I got my new alert 
uh, background. So thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> Wonderful. Perfect. Amazing. Um, as you run your fingers around the edge of the bowls, the remaining pixie ducks on your hand flakes off as if drawn in by an invisible force. Crude pictographs appear on the surface of the basin. They depict a coiled snake presiding at the center of some kind of festival. Directions on how to reveal the bridge are carved on the outside. You see symbols resembling fey dust, dancing fireflies, and bird feathers. So the only thing I need are bird feathers. All right. I need bird feathers now. Uh, so I need to craft a couple. I need to craft one more trap. Um... Bait stick, attempting but deadly morsel for meeting creatures useful against newts, dragonflies, and bats. So that's gonna be helpful. Um Okay. Snap trap! Hell yeah. Alright. Um share that. And then let me organize No, you get to stay in there. And I'm going to move this over here so that way it's easier to navigate. Um, I gotta find... I'm hearing something jingle. I'm not here. Ignore me, buddy. I don't exist, I promise. Um, and then the triad should be around there. Oh, he's still on fire? Oh. <laughs> he's down. He's down for the count. Alright, I gotta... See if I can find... A bird. See if that bird will notice. Come on! <gasps> nice! All right, I got one blue feather. Oh, perfect. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Hell yeah. All right. I feel so powerful for murdering these birds. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. So now, additionally, I want to check the map to see how much of this area I've investigated. Um, up there leads to the swamp. That's where the snake is. That's the well. The bear is down that way, and the ox is down that way. Oh cool, so I've explored almost the entire left side. I just wanted to see what how big this area was, so it's kind of cool that I've gotten most of this kind of like explored out. Uh-uh-uh, no no no. Yeah, you're coming back. Uh-uh. No, no, no. You're, you're getting caught. Come here. Yeah, more slime. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Directions on how to reveal the bridge are carved on the outside. You see symbols resembling fey dust, dancing fireflies, and bird feathers. You shake out the fairy dust, on, the fine dust on, into the bowl and it settles evenly onto its inside surface. Um, firefly. Each of the fireflies alights upon the edge of the bowl, stepping delicately until they are evenly spaced. Blue feather. Place them in the basin, the feathers arrange themselves into a perfect triangle symmetry. Triangular symmetry. The basin begins to glow a soft yellow as the fireflies rise from the muck within. They begin to dance up and down, drawing circles high above the bowl. Glitter rains down gently, shimmering as it catches rays of sunlight. Slowly, the particles trace the form of a bridge leading from the edge of the water to the center of the lake. You tentatively test the strength of the spectral walkway and find that it is strong as if it were made of solid stone. Ooh, that's cool. Oh my goodness. Another <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Harley Cutie Pie, welcome. Starania, welcome. Izumi Catbox, welcome. Hello. Hi. Let me just get the shout out stuff out. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Oh my goodness, hi! Hello, Raiders! Welcome in! Izumi, how was stream? You were playing Biomutant, I see. That sounds fun! <laughs> of course! I'm doing well. I'm drinking coffee. I'm waking up and I'm super grateful of all the rates I've been getting today. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Raiders! Welcome in! Welcome in! We're, we're gonna dance and jam to this this music. <laughs> it's a little long, so enjoy. <laughs> Izumi, while we're waiting for the music to end, tell me about stream. How did it go? And tell me about how you're doing. Bio Mutant is great. Very nice little game. Oh, that's awesome. For anybody who doesn't know, hello everybody. I'm Lord Ramses. I'm your resident pharaoh back from the dead. I'm a variety streamer that streams all sorts of comfy cozy games. I play whatever suits my fancy at any given point. There's an ad break in progress. We're going to wait for a second. <laughs> Sorry for anybody who just got hit by an ad. <laughs> Worst time for an ad that I've ever seen. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the actual music of the game while we're waiting. <laughs> do, 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 do. For, who who's still here during this ad? By the way, I'm curious. I got that warning and then immediately ad no. <laughs> really well, I got sidetracked with side quests as usual. But then when I went to the main quest, I decided I might as well continue with side questing. <laughs> Oh man, me too. Me too. Fuck the main quest. Who needs main questing? Uh, I love side questing. It's my favorite thing to do. Uh, th that's what I do in Assassin's Creed Origins all the time. Um, just just because I'll explore the area. I don't think I've done the main quest for Assassin's Creed Origins on stream in a really long time. <laughs> so that would have been like a month now. Um, but no, there's side quests. I'm doing them first. And then like when you go back to the main quest, you're overpowered as fuck. <laughs> But now, welcome in, Raiders. For those that don't know, I'll start the spiel over because I got interrupted by an ad. I'm Lord Ramses, your resident pharaoh back from the dead. I'm a variety streamer that likes to stream all sorts of games, whatever suits my fancy. Right now, I'm in the middle of my Ghastly Gala, which is my Halloween event where I play spooky games every day of this month. I try to get as close to 31 games as possible, but it looks like Doom and Inscription is going to ruin that for me and probably this game because this game seems very long. Um... But yeah, these could be anything from like genuine horror games like Layers of Fear and um, Soma and Bloodborne to like more spoopy themed games, but not necessarily like scary, such as Witchwood and Inscription, where they just there's no jump scares. There's no actual horror in it, but the content can be a bit spooky when thinking about it. So yeah that's that's kind of the whole the whole shtick so if that's interesting to you then feel free to stick around and pop in um we are on day four of 31 so we got a long month ahead of us um so it's gonna be a fun time uh izumi thank you so much for the raid and for trusting your community with me i appreciate it so so much it's very sweet of you and it always moves my heart when folks are um trusting enough to send people my way i hope that i can live up to your expectations um and additionally i prefer non jump scares i agree <laughs> i don't like jump scares i like them when they're i can tolerate them if they're well done which is why i don't mind layers of fear but like if they, if it's like fnaf where it's like a jump scare practically every second for no reason then it, it gets really old really quick and after, over time it gets really boring and additionally um i risk passing out when that happens like with games like that where they're really really heavy jump scares because i have bots and my adrenaline uh, we were just discussing this and adrenaline is what causes my pots to spike up so i have a risk of just straight up passing out when i get like too spooked um it's a very very bad time um so <laughs> i don't like playing like fnaf you will probably never see me play fnaf on my channel 
<laughs> no, don't worry about it. I like joking about it. I like having fun with it. Um, for those that don't know, I do have a chronic illness. I am disabled. I have a couple chronic illnesses. But uh, when I talk about it, feel comfortable making jokes about it. Just feel comfortable asking questions. I encourage um, lighthearted discussion on these topics because uh, for me, I've been living with it my whole life. It's kind of normalized for me. Um, and I want to kind of normalize people being uh, more curious than tentative about it. So feel free to make jokes about it. I have friends who make jokes about my achy bones. And I have a friend that literally comes in and calls me an old, old, old bitch every time because my bones creak, even though, you know, all things considered, they shouldn't creak. <laughs> um, so feel free to just make jokes, have a fun time and do all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, Izumi, if you need to go do your after stream post self care, feel free to do that by the way, or you could stick around if you want to, but I just wanted to let you know that if you needed to go get something to eat, get something to drink, go take a, like a shower or a bath or take medicine or do whatever you gotta do, feel free to do it. You don't have to stick around. I appreciate it if you choose to, but you don't have to. And I totally understand because stream is stressful. <laughs> so feel free to just poof off and do the aether or to chill out um my friend messaged me and i just happened to catch it while looking at the roommate chat they took a pic of a very tiny wild snake a creeped when a bird ate it then realized the bird actually ate something else and he was fine <laughs> you want to show you yes please show me the tiny snake i am a snake lover oh wait is that a garter oh shit <laughs> oh my god it's a little garter a little white stripe across his neck oh that's a cute little garter and i can tell it's a garter because of how small it is huh yeah <laughs> that's a crow crows don't eat snakes the crows eat bugs i'm pretty sure and seeds <laughs> yeah that is really funny <laughs> Uh, <laughs> mummy undead ass facts. <laughs> All things considered as if you aren't barely held together. <laughs> facts. Thank you very much. Yes, I need to sleep. It's 1 a.m. I may have stayed up later than planned to. <laughs> Honestly, totally valid. You're like five hours ahead of me. Holy shit. Yes, go get some sleep. Go get some rest. Um, and chill out if you want to. No need to leave stream on. I don't really mind. If you want to leave stream on and just mute it. That's cool too. I know some people fall asleep to me, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> it's very ghastly gala, but um, whatever you want to do, um, feel free. Uh, take care of yourself. Go get some rest, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Now let's continue on with this game now. Find the snake in the fairgrounds. All right, I don't know what to expect from this. <laughs> Also, for anyone who doesn't know, we're playing Witchwood, which is a comfy cozy game. It's like a mix of Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, Cult of the Lamb, and like a couple other games. So it's a comfy exploration, crafting. Uh, there's perhaps going to be some farming elements later. Um, that's the kind of style game we got going on here with some puzzles. Very cute, very cute. With a lot of witchy undertones, and I mention them very loudly because I am a witch, so... <laughs> the snake is good to us. Is, is it? The snake is good to us. Ooh! Um? Ooh, very nice! The snake would like to meet you. These, these guys are creepy. She's got an odd glassy look in her eyes. Distant strongman, a well-muscled hulk. Flexing with a faraway look in his eyes. Villager. Weary-eyed bard, his bright clothes in in stark contrast with the look of his tired apathy. He seems to be in some kind of trance. Oh boy. People really like the, these parlor tricks? Apparently. Oh my god. <laughs> An almost hypnotic motion. Look at him go. I uh, yo, stealing shit. <laughs> egg! I got an egg. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your stream. I'll still lurk. Decided to send my people to another cozy streamer. Aw. That's fair. 
<laughs> I'm glad that you, you feel that way. I'm glad that you were able to uh, enjoy my content and that um, that uh, you're, you feel like your folks are, are welcome here. I, that's honestly my goal here. Uh, I'm the type of streamer that's like doing this for fun. Um, I got nothing better in my life to do. <laughs> so I do this as a hobby and I try to keep things nice, co cozy, comforting, nice, just generally chill. Um, sometimes things get a little chaotic, but uh, that's usually the exception to the rule. When one of my mods, Grizz, decides they want to be extra unhinged that day, they wake up and they choose unhinged. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the only... Or Jay decides to send some cursed shit on TTS. <laughs> um, but yeah, cozy streamer all the way. That's the goal. Silk tent, in we go. I do say fuck though a lot, so I hope that doesn't ruin my cozy streamer vibe. I love this guy. The snake, enchanting to look upon, even more enchanting to engage. You are beautiful. I love you. Oh my goodness. You are so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love this design so much. Draped in glittering jewelry, the serpent stares intently into a crystal ball as you approach. Welcome, my dear, welcome. I saw that you would come here in search of answers. Pa, I just came here in search of a bard. That's him outside, right? With the loot. The minstrel? Yes, he is working off a debt to me. All those folk out there seem a touch addled. What did you do to them? They're all humble folk looking for something, just as you are. I am here to provide them with my services in exchange for a bit of work. So what are you, some sort of carnival wizard? You're making quite the racket in my forest. A wizard? No, no, no. I am a seer, a scryer of the hidden mists, a foreteller of fortunes, and keeper of secrets. Fancy titles you've given yourself. Sounds like you're nothing but a used cart salesman peddling your wares to the gullible. It's literally snake oil. Oh my goodness, the snake is selling snake oil. Ah, a skeptic. Step closer and let the crystal ball reveal its mysteries. The snake's voice drops low and seems to fill the tent with a heavy weight. I am a helper of sorts, an unraveler of knots. I make the forgotten remembered. You feel the scaly touch of slithering coils wrap around you, but you are powerless to move. And you, you have forgotten much. Grizz wakes up on the unhinged side of the bed and Jay wakes up on the Clippy side. Jay, hey, let's not forget that Clippy is Jason's mother. <laughs> Snake unravels knots, <laughs> right? I, I think I got the chest on the other side, by the way. The snake's eyes swirl in a pattern you've never seen. Oh my gosh, it makes me think of the snake from the Jungle Book. You guys ever seen the Jungle Book where um, it tries to hypnotize the characters and its eyes like do the weird like trippy ring thing? That's what this makes me think of. Imperceptible colors collapse themselves into and collapse into themselves and fracture into a kaleidoscope of mosaics against the canvas walls. A voice speaks from far away. It takes you a moment to realize that it's your own. I have forgotten so much. Let me help you find your answers. The serpent's coil slowly squeezed the consciousness out of you. Ugh. With a desperate push of willpower, you blink away from the snake's hypnotic gaze. Wait. Get off me, you worm. You wriggle your body like a sack of loose twigs, despite your protesting bones. You manage to squirm free and tumble backwards out of the tent. Fuck that snake. <laughs> That's such a pretty snake, though. You did? Okay, good. I'm glad. When your eyes open, you find yourself back outside the snake's tent. You pick yourself up from the ground and dust off your shoulders. I guess that sly serpent has some tricks up his sleeve. I better come up with a plan for the next time I go in there. The festival patrons seem confused after your tussle with the snake. As if the spell over them was momentarily shaken, the crowd disperses as they fumble about in a haze. Now's my chance to get word in with that bard. Maybe I can get him out of this mess. We're gonna abduct the bard. Charming this loot, this strapping young man has a faraway look in his eyes. Is it wistfulness, nostalgia, or even hypnosis? Wander I may, but ne'er far away. From she I call my lover. To my charge in I stumble in and meet the gaze of another. Curious, I stared, I was not prepared, and this was my mistake. A blinding gaze, now I live my days in the service of the snake. Cry not for me, for there is she that might still see me saved. My spirits they lift as she holds a gift for before I was enslaved. 
I'm nearer but shattered, its pieces have scattered. If mended, we may be set free. Down the wishing well spring, to the swamp's moonlight, rise, moonlight rising, and hiding within the pixie's tree. What's all this about a broken mirror? You gave it to that weeping maiden. Speak Playden, plainly, you warbling fool. No matter what you do, the poor musician barely seems able to recognize you're there. He just keeps strumming his lute and humming his morphine tune. Fah, maybe that lovesick miss will know what he's on about. I think I know, because he, he was pretty transparent about it being in like the well and stuff like that. So I think I have an idea, but yes. <clears throat> All right, so we're about two and a half hours in. Um, so I think now is as good of a time as any to take a quick 20 minute break. I can't believe we're like only two hours into the stream and we've already gotten like three raids. That's insane. Um, so yeah, this has <laughs> been a really fun stream. I think this is my favorite stream so far. Not only is the game so far one of my favorites to have streamed, just generally. I think the only game that I've had more fun with is Hyper Light Drifter, but that's because it's my favorite game of all time. So, and this is probably, I would say, my second favorite so far. Uh, I'm not counting Genshin in this list, obviously, but, but even though I would still probably put this above Genshin. I do love Genshin, though. I think Genshin is probably third. Um, it's still in my top three, but uh, I think we're going to go on a quick little break because I have to use the restroom. So yeah, and I have to get my blood sugar up a little bit. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Go get something to eat. Go get something to drink. Go use the restroom. Go get comfortable. Grab a blanket. Do what you got to do. Maybe go grab your Halloween candy. And I'll see you guys back here in about 10 to 20 minutes.
Hello, my Shaft series, and we are back. I hope you guys had a good break. Um, I know I did. I had, I drank the rest of my coffee. I used the restroom. I got to play with a little puppy. Um, it was a good time. It was a fun time. I hope you guys had a good time as well. Um, and we are going to get back to playing Witchwood. Um, and just to do chill a bit. So yeah, let's get started. Feel free to tell me about your breaks, what food you got, what drinks you got, what things you did. Um, I would love to hear it, but uh, turn to the weeping maiden and the horse. Let's do that. Oh, still my beating heart. Have you any news about my dear sweet love? I found him at the carnival, but he's been mesmerized by the snake. Unless I could break the spell, no one in that carnival can leave. The snake? Say it isn't so. I've heard how he grants wishes, but only for a terrible price. Why would my love be so desperate as to consort with that charlatan? I haven't a clue, but he's stuck deep. The only thing I managed to get out of him was something about a mirror. Do you ha have any idea about it? A mirror? Oh, yes, it was the first gift he ever gave me. From inside her bodice, she produced a small cracked hand mirror. But one night, it slipped from my balcony and shattered on the cobblestones. I tried to piece it back together, but I could never find the last three shards. Hmm. His song mentioned something about a wishing well, a moonlit swamp, and a pixie tree? Keep that mirror close. I'll seek out the missing shards and return them to you. Oh, thank you. I should very much love to see it whole once again. All right. <clears throat> I know. I saw the pixie tree. It's like right here. Oh, never mind. I am incorrect. <laughs> Maybe over this way? It's nearby. I saw it. Yeah, here it is. The pixie tree. Pixie nest. The snarl tree would have passed the other corner glittering. Ah, if you reach for a sharp piece of broken grass, glass, that could be the mirror shard. But pull your hand away the last moment. A thousand beady eyes peer out of the tree's pot, uh, peak holes. A familiar crackling voice floats above the others. You again, Kettlehead. What you want now? I've come for that mirror shard. Hand it over, and I won't have to strangle you again. No way. We need shinies to keep gross fairy folk away. Best fairy repellent there is. What? Since when are fairies afraid of shiny things? Well, I don't see no fairies around. Do you? But maybe we can work something out. Them smelly mushroom herders have been encroaching on our turf, see? They've been building those stupid little stone shrines of theirs, and worse yet, they've been hiring, hiring mercenaries to guard them, so we can't go anywhere near. But maybe a big stomper like you can take care of the problem for us. And then you'll give me that shard? Hey, if there ain't no fairies, we won't need no fairy repellent. I see. Destroy fairy shrines in the forest. Um... I'm gonna use, make a couple unveiling powders. 
There we go. Uh, inventory. And the reason why is because I kind of want to catch some of these guys. There we go. Come here. Yeah. Weak links, come here. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 Little bastards. All right. Um... So, there are a couple fairy shrines that we came across, but I never knew how to break them. So, maybe it'll tell us how to now? Um, hopefully. Hopefully it's something easy. Um, I didn't pick that up. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I'll probably need to make more of this. So I'm going to go into the well to collect some water. Uh, the well is around this way. So that way I can at least uh, have the water needed to uh, make a sleeping poultice because I know that the dog is there and I don't want to, you know, get bit by that thing again and get sent back to the in-between realms or to my home because that would suck ass um also there's another mirror shard down here or there should be do 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 uh net come here froggy yeah more frog slime for me All right, now I have that. Um, nice. Um, and then I can make one of those. Nice, nice, nice. Can I make another pot? Yes, I can. I feel like that's going to be important later. Feels like jars are probably a necessity for a witch to have, right? Let's see. Crafted empty jar. Pretty. My pretty rocks. You still got the dog over there? She's so soft! Hi, Cinnamon! You should bring Cinnamon close to my face so I can kiss her. Cinnamon? Hi. You want to say hi? <laughs> you sniffing the mic? Want to say hi to chat? Want to say hi to chat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you seem tired. Yeah. <laughs> You're so soft. Yes, you are. All right, <laughs> I gotta get back to this now. <laughs> Short dog break over. I like dogs, but I'm more of a cat person personally. If I had to pick between having just a dog, a cat, a fish, or a reptile, I'd pick a reptile. After that, I'd pick a, a cat, then a dog, then a fish. Fish is like my last choice. Uh, if bird's included in there, then bird would be before fish. I'm not a big fish person, I don't think. They're, they're relatively hard to take care of, in my opinion. They're very finicky in their uh, in their care, because like you need everything to be perfect for a fish. You hike up the hem of your skirt from the ankle deep well water and duck down to inspect the small damp cave. A pale shape quickly retreats further into the dark space. You hear the labored breath of some pathetic thing, frightened and alone. Hello there, don't worry, I won't hurt you. Bloodshot eyes blink nervously up at you. The creature gazes longingly at the light of the world above while simultaneously cowering from it. Poor dear, what are you doing down in this hole? I bet you're hungry, aren't you? Two thin, malnourished arms twist out from the crevice. One hand tightly clutches a shard of glass, while the other hand reaches out to you, begging for food. I don't have roast beef. How do I get roast beef? How do I get this? Oh, I can make that. Witch spice! Okay, cool. Um, and then I just need the embers that I've used all in the pot. Fuck. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't know what she's doing. 
Probably something she's not supposed to because she's a naughty little cat, but... Traitor? What about the traitor? What? <laughs> what? Me petting the dog? I'm a traitor now? I'm sorry, the dog's a lot nicer than you. <laughs> you are traitor because of the dog? <laughs> Is it because of the dog or the cat? Like cats better? Yeah, you're right, I do. It's part of the comedic thing. I'm sorry, we worship them. We view them as gods. Thanks to Lady Bastet. Um, okay, so... There's fire stuff here. All right, I got that. <laughs> Farm everything. How much is in my inventory? I got a lot of shit in my inventory. <laughs> Perfect. I min-max everything. I will max out my inventory on everything. All right, let's see. Um, come here. Catch, catch. I catch all these bugs. Come here. Let's see, what else is there? Uh -uh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Murder the shroom. Murder the shroom! Um, what am I looking for? Oh, embers, that's right. I got sidetracked. <laughs> Whoopsie. What? What? It, oh, is that the doggo again? Oh, you're licking my finger. Why are you licking, why? Huh? Oh, she's like on my finger because you got a good itchy spot. Hi. Hi, you guys are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Such a cutie patootie. I want to get a dog sometime. I want to get like a small dog. One that's not going to get bigger than my cats. Because my cats are easily frightened of dogs. Um, unless I can get a service dog, then... That's a different story. Then I'd want a big dog, because obviously service dogs are best if they're bigger. Um, but a service dog also won't chase a cat, so... Oh, shit! They return. The dryad. It comes for me. Um... No, you ain't coming for me. Goodbye, bastard. Anything else? Say nothing there. I'm trying to find where the the pottery guy is. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember where he was. Oh, he's right here. Oh, that's good. Um, well, I might as well make the sleepy time meet again then. All right. Not what I wanted. Oopsie. There we go. Yeah. All right. I can farm everything. Wonder if I can get any soot sprites while I'm here. Nope, none decided they wanted to spawn in right now. That's okay. We don't need any. Um. Nothing really back here. Um. Is there a way to make? I don't think so. But now we can make this. And now we have the roast beef that we can take to the well. And bada bing, bada boom. 
Are you okay, buddy? Uh, you don't... You see... You keep sounding like you're dying. And I'm... I'm concerned about your well-being, my guy. Uh, <laughs> what is she honking about? What? Are you playing with her? Yeah, baby? What you honking about? What you being a little honker about? <laughs> well, don't annoy her too much, because if you annoy her too much, then she'll get angry and she'll start having small dog syndrome. I trust you. Um, huh? Nice and comfy. <laughs> She's so tiny. You love her? Is she is she a baby? Don't worry. We we'll 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 adopt a dog soon. Yeah, well duh. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Now we can give this little little dude here. Two thin mountain stars to start from the crevice. We give him roast beef. The creature snatches up the meat so quickly that you nearly lose a finger. It scurries back into its little crevice and you hear a satisfied munching from within. Take the shards. The creature is preoccupied with its frenzied eating. Um, can I open this yet? It's still locked. Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. If you annoy them too much, they'll snap. That's okay. Puppies can be fickle sometimes. All right, so now we can come through here. God, you're still crying. Okay, so now we can come up to the Fey Tree. I gotta remember where that is. <laughs> I lose it all the time. I swear, I get lost in these in these games so frequently, it's not even funny. Oh, there's gold in here. Hell yeah. Um Lodger Logger's hatchet. Yeah. Nice. I'm here. Okay, cool. So I got her. Kill one mushroom child, kill another mushroom child. Perfect, perfection. Um, grab that. Changeling root. Oh, those are changelings? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so... Oh, God. How do I get rid of you? Oh, yeah, it's the dreadful doll. How do I make that, though? Um, grain. Hopper leg. And sewing kit. Okay, so I need to go into the swamp for that. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. We ain't doing this. Goodbye. Um. So I got one mirror shard. Um. 
I might be able to sneak up on, but I don't know. Sneak up on the other fairy shrine. And take it down real quick. But I don't know, that might be a stretch. Uh, I might be uh, biting off more than I, I can chew at that one, but... Oh god, it's it's another dryad. Okay, um... That one... Oh. Rodent lard, so I gotta trap another rodent. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I need to make this first. I should probably make a couple. I like the quick, quick, quick click here. Quick craft, smart craft. I like that. That that makes things a lot easier. Okay. So now I can. Yeah. Nice. So now I can make this. And then I can go into my inventory, move this in. I'm going to replace the skewer because I feel like I don't really need it. Not what I wanted. Thank you. I like that I could just pick it back up. All right, perfect. And then I can just... All right, and then I can just come over here, catch her, and I get more fairy dust. Oh, you'll cool off eventually. I got a dryad fruit. Nice. Um. I've gotten two of them. Okay, so I do need to actually, like, take them out. So, hmm. Okay. I guess now is a good time to go into the swamp, huh? So I'll grab this. And I'll head towards the swamp. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. This is a really good game. Right? The game is very, very satisfying, and things make a lot of sense. Uh, learning the controls was a little difficult in the beginning there, but, like, I've, I've quickly, I've quickly gotten the hang of it. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go. And also, just picking everything up as you go along is really nice. How fast things respawn is really nice. Into the swamp! Let's go! Sekum and Puppy are friends? That's really cute. Where are they? Are they sleeping together or... Are they just vibing? Ooh, it's raining. I love the ambience of this area. Holy shit. Skeeter. Smoke pellet or a logger, logger's hatchet? Oh, they're aggressive. So how do I make a smoke pellet then? Aha! I'll make a couple because I feel like I'm gonna run into these guys quite a bit. I'll just I'll just make them them all, as many as I can. So I have a lot of the frog stuff. Nice. Oh, blood? Nice. Okay, what about these guys? Spirit salts. How do I make those? Okay. 
Embalming salts. A revivifying solution to some absolute peril to others. Useful against bloodsuckers and ghastly heads. So I can't really get those guys yet. Too tough to break on my hands alone. Ooh, toxic thistle. Ooh, that's healthy. Healthy. Helpful. Oh, it's a frog. Come here. Yeah. Oh, I got some embalming salts. Nice. Um. Wonder if the. Ooh. Nice. What is this one? Dragonfly. I need a bait stick. That's what the bait stick is for. All right, come here, buddy. Oh. Yeah! Dragonfly wing and bug it core. I don't want to get sucked dry. <laughs> um, I wonder, can I now make the thing? I need more of that. So I got to sift through more of the this. I have to find these. I keep pick putting that down. Ah, uh, come here. Wah. Hell yeah. All right, what else can I find here? I don't want to catch a dragonfly right now. Second, like keeps trying to rub on her. Aw, chances of you being poisoned by, by me are close, are close 99%, which means you better start running. <laughs> Hi, devil. How are you? Uh, Mark with a good edge. Oh. Alright, um. Let's see. I hope we're doing well. We're playing Witchwood. Nice! I have Newt! Hell yeah. Look at that. We're making progress. We're doing great. I haven't gotten any like actual hangups. Who's there? My eyes have gone milky. Please come a little closer, sister. I don't believe we met before. Why do you call me sister? I don't need sight to see someone who's also signed a dark contract. The woman looks blindly through you, though you can sense her focus. Contract? So you've had dealings with that damnable goat too? What sort of pact did he rope you into? Oh, you know how it is. I was young, and we he weren't no goat when I knew him. Oof. We used to dance naked under the blood moon and raise the dead to frighten dull country folk. Ah, uh, but it's ancient history now. Old age comes for us all, and eventually you've got to hang up the sacrificial dagger and settle down to the comforts of retirement. Ah, retired witch, I see. I know the feeling. I miss my cozy chair and little fireplace. Seems like a fine spot you've got here. Well, it's not all poises and pumpernickel. She clutches wordly at the moth-eaten blanket in her lap. What's rattled your bones? Maybe I can help. It's my dear old husband. Handsome chap, although a bit clumsy. He had a tumble trying to weed out the, some swamp traps from the yard. All the things like to snap at your toes when you're all out looking. Anyways, he twisted his ankle pretty bad and went off to the sick house to have it looked at. But that was a few days ago. He should have been back by now. And these legs haven't worked right in decades, so I can't even go check up on him. I've been so worried. I even thought about making another contract. Don't you dare. You just wait here. I'll go find him and see what bother what the bother is. Thank you, sister. The sick house, sick house is down the road to the west. Be careful of the critters along the way. They've got a taste for blood. All right. New side quest. The leech. Cool. All right. We got this. But also, let me just scoop that up. Hell yeah. 
Um, I have been given a shotgun on purpose to shoot that. Yeah. Apollo. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll when Chat Nubis is available, I'll ask him to grab Apollo for me. I can go pet pet Apollo. Um. Oh, I thought these were gonna be living mushrooms. They're not. There are a bunch of dead bodies here. God, grab that. Disturbed body swamp. This will seem to be in the process of rolling this corpse over. Rising body. Plant growth through throughout has looked at his body almost to standing. Still dead, though. Propped up body. This was nourished by this body have grown strong enough to raise up once again. Thistle threaded body. There is no rest to be had here. This corpse is joined now to the fate of the thistle that runs through it. Plant punctured body. A forgotten corpse now anchored to the swamp by thistles grown through it. This is creepy. Watchful corpse. Eternally destined to be mistaken for a branch troll. A party home. I wonder where Chattanoobus went. Oh, I see them. They're, they're in the other room. All right, when they come back, I'll go pet Apollo. Don't worry, I see Apollo. He's just across the room and I don't want to get up. <laughs> um, I'm lazy. Don't want to get up. <laughs> uh, come here, frog. Oh, you're aggressive. No, uh, I'm good, thanks. Um, Snackrifice! How do I make a snackrifice? Oh, paint. Magic paste. Moo? Is that milk? It is milk. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't need to mess with that now, so. Um, let's see. What? Oh, okay. Visit the sick house west of the swamp. But also, I came in here to get the stuff to make the doll thing. Come here, frog. I need your insides. But no, how are you doing, Devil's Deal? Are you doing okay? Are you vibing? Are you thriving? Are you living? I forgot to ask, and I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Suspicious stump. The thick moss growing on this massive fallen trunk seems to recoil at your touch, revealing strange etchings on the bark below. Slowly, a spark of swirling energy seeps forth from the waterlogged wood until an ethereal doorway opens before you. Run aperture. Pick that up. Um, do I have enough to make the doll yet? I need grasshopper leg. So I haven't found any grasshoppers yet. So. Let's see. I'll need to scoop through this muck. That's the wrong thing. Oh, there's a frog there. I'm here. Hell yeah. Okay. Troll, an impassable hulk, unless you, he perhaps likes you. A fat troll sits squarely in the middle of the bridge, busy scratching an inch on his back with a fallen tree. His unmatched girth blocks the path forward. I am puppy sitting, but we'll grab Apollo soon. Okay, awesome. Out of the way, you big galoot. 
He shifts his mask and releases a loud fart as you attempt to circumvent him. Ugh, fine, keep your bridge. I'll come back when, when the vapors have dissipated. Yikes. <laughs> Oh no. His gas was too noxious, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's see anything. I'm trying to find Grasshopper. Is the Grasshopper even in this area? It's in. It said it's in the field, so maybe not. I don't remember where the. F I don't know if I've ever run into the fields. What are you? Dancing totem. These are strange to begin with, but this one especially so. Stick totems. These animated wooden effigies seem engaged in a ritualistic dance. They march in stiff patterns around a reflective piece of glass embedded in the soft ground. You lean in for a better look just enough to make out the shard's mirrored surface, reflecting the ghostly image of the moon. You think to reach and grab it, but the swinging limbs of the dancing totems are too dense and quick. Out of the way, you overgrown twigs. Maybe I can get them to shift their attention to some other glittering bauble. Moonlight globe. How do I craft that? Ooh, what's that? Totemic moon drop and a glitter bomb. Uh, I need a flower petal. Okay. So I need to figure out how to make a, f how to find a flower petal. Well, where is the flower petal found? Apiary and the forest. I have a feeling that this is not the place I was supposed to go into first. <laughs> just a, just an inkling that this is not where I was supposed to go first and foremost, and I was supposed to go elsewhere first. Because <laughs> a lot of the stuff in here is like stuff that... to the stick house. That uh, feels like uh, it's supposed to be found in like more shallow places. Stick house was stick house. Oh, it's the sick house, not the stick house. Um, there's like a whole thing right there. Interesting. Nurse, hold on now. The sick house is full to the brim with and festering with disease. Don't you know there's a deadly plague going around? A plague, you say? This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, it's terrible. It affects the young and old, the healthy and infirm alike. We're also swamped with patients. I can barely catch my breath. So what are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be inside tending to the ill? We've just got so many bi bodies piling up. Someone has to bury them before they spread the sickness further. She drops her voice to a whisper, looking ashamed. It's gotten so crowded, I've even had to dump some in the swamp. That seems unethical. But don't worry, the leech is inside working her miracles on the other patients. They couldn't be in better hands. The leech? That's the doctor of this place? The best in the land. I don't dare think about how much worse it would be without her skills. I need to speak to her. I'm checking up on someone who came through here. Sorry, I cannot in good conscience allow a person of your... Um, years? Wow, she just called me old. <laughs> To enter such an infectious space without a proper inoculation. Wait, we have inoculation for the plague? If we have inoculation for the plague, shouldn't the plague kind of be irrelevant right now? But with all the patients, we're low on medicine, and I'm afraid I don't have any to spare. Bah, what's a simple booster shot made from anyway? They, they have booster shots here? They have, it. they have vaccines in this world? Really? <laughs> I thought this was like the 12th century. That's way before a vaccine has ever been invented, I believe. There's plenty of medicinal ingredients right here in the swamp. I'll go get them myself. Well, it's a pretty basic prescription. If you bring me the components, I'll be able to mix and administer it. Then you can go inside. I'll need three milligrams of bug ichor extract, five grams of toxic thistle powder, and some lazy grass to numb the pain. I, I need lazy grass. Oh no, how do I get la- where's lazy grass? How do I find lazy grass? How do I- medicine is a precious sign- where is lazy grass found? Alright, um... Oh, I could probably check my journal, right? It should be in there. No, my journal's quests. Never mind. <laughs> 
Uh, I was a fool to think otherwise. Let's see, how about in here? Sewing kit, oh, can I make the sewing kit? I can make the sewing kit now. Yeah. Um. I'll make a couple of them, because there's a lot of the little troll dudes. Okay. Um. Let's see here. I don't know where I would get lazy grass. Nobody wants the inoculation because the plague was made up by the aristocracy. <laughs> Fake news! Oh my god, Grizz! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I can't believe it. Grizz, Grizz, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to throw you in the dumpster now because you said that. That's, that's awful. How dare you? Don't you know there are people dying of the plague? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if I can find Lazy Grass. Also, welcome back in, Grizz. I hope you're doing well. Um, headstones. Certainly seems like someone was buried here not too long ago. Oh, <laughs> they're just a bunch of blank headstones? They haven't even labeled them? That's so unfortunate. Um, where does one find the Lazy Grass? I guess I have to go back to the swamp. I don't really have any other choice. You have been fed! Good, I'm glad. I, on the other hand, have not been. <laughs> I have not eaten yet. Well, no, that's a lie. I had some soup, but... I don't think soup is the only source of a balanced meal. <laughs> Where's that frog? Come back here! Come back here! Cool. Um, I need to find... Lazy grass. Ooh, I got more salts. Uh, grab that. That's twine. I think it's so funny that the snail just launches into the goddamn stratosphere. It just goes whoosh, up into space. It's like, no, I'm gone now. Oh, you're angry. Why are you so angry? You're just a bunch of twigs. Literally. Okay. A place of power, but to what end? Ornately dressed, but for what and by whom? Uh, ornately dressed. Interesting. I don't think there's anything left for me here. Maybe it's so the stuff I'm looking for is somewhere in the forest, maybe? Maybe that's where I need to go, but I don't remember how to get out. Um, let me check my map. Uh, okay, it looks like I've explored this area. Almost entirely, actually. I think I've gotten through it all. I think I've seen everything in here. Um, huh. Well, no, there's another area up that way, it looks like, but. So let's see if we can check up that way. And which way do I have to go? I have to just go up and then right behind the bones there seems like okay i know where that is but there's a big lumbering dragon over there so maybe maybe not i don't know we'll find out i don't know how i feel about all these bodies just kind of sitting out here but they're giving me a lot of embalming salt so i guess that's fine <laughs> oh shit Hey, buddy. It doesn't look like there's anything actually up here. It just looks like the map is a little glitched out. Yeah, I just think the map's a bit, bit glitched out, as indie games are wont to do. Come here. Hell yeah. No, I want the other one. Come here. 
frog slime. Okay. Um. So uh, under those circumstances, we'll return back to the forest area, I guess. Um. Don't get mad at me. Get out of there. Um. But I need to figure out which way I need to go. Um. Okay. I need to go up to this crossroad to the right and then down. I understand now. When am I going to eat? I have no clue. It depends on when people decide to make dinner. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of the people who are cook in, in this in this home. <laughs> I'll probably take a break or end stream when that's done, but for now, I'm just vibing. Oh shit, there's stuff in here. Just steal them from an old woman. No, no worries. <laughs> uh, um, what did I get? Oh, I got, um... Is that the blood? Yeah. I got the sewing kit. Oh, I think I can make the doll now, right? No, I still need the grasshopper legs. Which is a fucking problem. Oh, the ashes are back. I do need those. Because the ashes are important. Heck yeah. Okay. So we'll go back to the forest and see if we can find anything there. Hmm. I don't know where we would find grasshoppers though. I want y'all to know my mug just says fuck you on it. <laughs> uh, my mug has it's like a flower pattern on it. And it just says, like, fuck you all across it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I need to go find the fields. So, where would the fields be, though? That's the... This is the castle of the swamp. Uh... Denizens of the swamp. <laughs> Big stretch. Uh, fieldward path. Oh, there's the field. Okay. So I, I need to go down to the southeast um, and check that out. Okay. That should be easy enough so long as this dryad that's coming up won't kill me. Oh, there he is. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> I'm just coming by, grabbing my stuff, as a witch does. Uh, alright, come down this way. Chat Nubis, don't forget to grab Apollo. <laughs> I, still gotta, I still gotta do that one. What is this? Quartermaster. Oh, hello there. S sorry, I think I managed to get most of the debris off the road. Looks like you made a fine wreck. What on earth happened to, uh, to your cart? Yes, well... Oh, hello, Apollo! Okay, I'll pet Apollo now. Alright, here we go. By the way. Thank you, Morshin, for the request. I am petting Apollo now. Hey, Apollo, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, baby? Yeah, you got puffed up because you got scared by the puppy. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, did you get scared by your puppy? Uh huh. Oh, don't. <laughs> no, I've been drinking it. It's still warm. Did the puppy leave? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> um. Hold on one second, guys.
Sorry about that. Was just discussing personal matters real quick. <laughs> Some uh, offline stuff that needed to be brought to my attention. Nothing bad. Nothing bad at all. Just needed to see about what was going on because we have a repairman coming tomorrow, which means streams might be delayed. But uh, yeah, just wanted to bring it up to everybody. Uh, yes, well, you see, I was on a very important mission by order of my captain, the bear. Uh, <laughs> soon we are having jerk chicken. Yes, we are having jerk chicken, apparently. I didn't know. Um, <laughs> I haven't been told about dinner today. I hope we have, like, carrots, too. Because we have carrots in the fridge, and I haven't had roasted carrots in a while. So maybe if I ask nicely, and this is me asking nicely, folks will be kind enough to put the carrots in the air fryer because an air fryer can doubly work as a convention oven um and ours does have a bake option maybe they can bake me some carrots that i can eat because <laughs> i haven't had carrots in a hot minute uh the bear you say what sort of mission it's my job to make sure the lakeshore camp is well stocked with provisions but most importantly a steady supply of honey for the bear's favorite mead Ooh, mead. I was just on my way back from the apiary with a cart full when a deer or something darted out of nowhere, jostled my poor mule so bad that she broke her bridle and ran off. My own heart nearly leapt out of my ribcage, piled the darn cart right into the ditch she did. And now every barrel is smashed and I can't bring myself to report back empty handed. The bear will have my guts for garters, I'm sure of it. This bear sounds like quite a brute. Oh, uh, you don't know the half of it. If he doesn't get his honey mead, heads will roll. Maybe you could lend me a hand? I can't very well put this broken cart back together. No, no, nothing like that. But could you take a message to the sergeant of Lakeshore Camp? He's a reasonable fellow. Let him know what happened. And maybe he can get me out of this bind. You can get to the Lakeshore Camp if you follow the road northwest of here. I need to stay with the cart and assess the damage. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yikes. <clears throat> the bear. Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, I see a fairy over there, though. Come here. Nice. Come here. Their cries of agony. Ooh, flower petals. Okay, so I found those. Good to know I just- ooh, that's a pretty deer statue. Good to know I just, like, missed a section of the forest. Um... So now I have quite a few flower petals. What did I need flower petals for again? Ah, this. And that'll make that. And then I can check this out, and then I just need the totem. Totemic Moondrop, which I don't know how to get. I imagine if they kill a totem. Um, well, let's go here to see if I can get the stuff for it. Um, the grasshopper legs and seeds and stuff for uh, one of the other things I need. Because they are apparently in this area. Uh, what did I need them for again? Mm. I also need to get paint. Which needs moo juice, which is also in the fields. Uh, and then this needs rain and hopper legs, which can both be found in this area. So let's investigate and see if I can find anything. that a turkey digestive tablets eschewing the oblivious charms of its clucking cousin this fowl is absolutely terrifying oh yeah turkeys will kill you if you're not careful i've seen turkeys in the wild they're they're insane they're they're really big too and they'll like slash your tires good day to you uh jerk chicken yeah jerk chicken that's what we're having very excited All right, I saw a grasshopper. Hopper catching nets. 
Oh, I love the sound. <laughs> oh, doink, 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 doink. <laughs> I love that sound so much. Also, this music's so pretty. How do I catch you? Snap trap, adversary to a farmer, ally, ally to the witch. Nice. Crow's foot. Did I get two of them? Hell yeah. I see you over there. Come here. There was a grasshopper on my window earlier and it was really cute. Okay. All right, so I almost have enough grasshopper legs for the thing I need. Ah, uh, there's there's my last hopper. Come here. Wah, no. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Now I can make the dreadful doll. I should maybe make one more. To make sure I have enough. Let's see. Oh, lazy grass. Yes. <laughs> and that's for the inoculation. Inoculation, Inoc inoculation, inoculation. I'm here, frog. Oh, I'm finding everything in here. Where do I find grass grasshoppers? Have you tried grass? I have eaten grass. <laughs> stinky, stinky grizz. Is a stinky. This is why I made you a mid card in inscription. <laughs> I joke, of course. You're you're less mid than Chat Nubis. That's all that matters. By the way, have you guys ever been bitten by a grasshopper? I've never been, but I know people who have, and those fuckers. <laughs> will like rip you apart. They're not nice. <laughs> they're cute, but they're nasty little suckers. And their bites are aggressive. There is no chill in a grasshopper. Why do you look like that? Gnome, a natural tinkerer, but stubbornly refuses to read any instruction manuals. Perhaps I could puzzle him somehow. Ah, uh, yeah. Trowel. Grizz a smella. <laughs> Perfect. Are those little baby chickens? Oh, that's so cute. It's all the eggs for now. Occupied. All right, let's see. Um, no, you don't want to talk. Okay, so no, don't go. Yeah. I got another leg, another grasshopper leg. Hell yeah. This game is really fun. I'm enjoying myself. I'm really loving playing this. I could play this for hours. Let's see. Um, let's check in there. Hmm. Do I have enough to make another one? No, I need two more legs. Thought I caught more, but I didn't. Ah, come here. You're so fast. <laughs> um, unusual hay bale. Upon coaster expansion, this mountain of hay appears to have been deliberately woven into an intricate wickerwork structure. You carefully pluck a single piece of straw from its center, and the whole bundle begins to swirl and unravel until a gaping vortex opens before you. 
A shadowed way. What's in here? I didn't check the last one, but now I'm curious. Oh, yay! Now I can quit fast travel. I didn't even realize. To the swamp. And to the fields. I didn't even fully realize that I can fast travel that way. Don't make me come on jerk your chicken. <laughs> you can try, but you won't succeed. My chicken is jerked forever. My cats have zoomies. Come here, you little, little hopper. Um, anything else? I'll need a jar to collect some milk juice. Why did I say milk juice? To collect some milk. Why do I keep saying milk juice or moo juice? Am I that cursed that I can't help it but say milk juice? <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I apparently am. I haven't really looked over there. Way to the apiary. Ahead, bees. <laughs> Incredible. You have mooges. <laughs> you have been cursed. <laughs> Apparently I have been. <laughs> All right, so I have a lot of lazy grass, so I can go back now. I also have the ox's farm. Um, I also have two dreadful dolls. Um, uh, All right, there, and then I can get some of these, which will allow me to farm the leeches. Great. Um, and then what else do I need? Ooh, big stretch. I need a big stretch. <sighs> Let's see. Mending poultice. Empty jar. Oh, I do have an empty jar, though. Um, let me open up my inventory. I don't really need you right now. I don't need you either, but I do need you. Let me grab a couple things of milk. Milk! All right. So there's a couple things that I needed milk for. What was it? Paint, for some reason. I needed it for magic paste. Um. Uh. And then I need water. I'm gonna need the one thing sooner or later. Who's brushing on me? Oh, it's Apollo. I was like, who the fuck? It was the cat. <laughs> it spooked me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Is there a, like, water pump somewhere around here? The way to the apiary. Heck yeah, okay. Um... Let's see if I can get the... I'm here, you. Nice. I'm gonna check in the farm area to see if they have any water in there. Because if they do, then that'll make my life so much easier. 
I don't know if they will have like a water trowel. If not, there will be one in the swamp that I can get to. That I have to cross over in order to... Ooh! Oh, they gave me flower petals. How nice. Um... Uh, where is my... There we go. I have to guard stands before you, wiping beads of dew off his bumpy forehead. He tilts up the brim of his hat and greets you with a... with... what you interpret as a smile. Welcome to my farm, stranger. What brings you out here? How's it growing, farmer? <laughs> oh, you know, not so bad. Trying my best to find the harvest competition this year. To to win the harvest competition this year. Well, you look to be making good progress. I'm sure you'll be a shoo-in for the blue ribbon. You would think so, but wouldn't you? But every year, without fails, that sour ox takes the prize. And no matter how hard I work, I can't seem to outgrow his core crops. Careful now, you're beginning to sound like a sore loser. Jaja, not a sore loser. I just think it's quite suspicious, don't you? Last year, the ox and his family grew the largest cork cobs I've ever seen. I was only ba barely able to get second place because of my own little helpers. He motions to animated turnips and potatoes, busy with menial farm work. But this year, my his crops are larger than ever before, even though his family is nowhere to be seen. It doesn't make any sense to me. He's working the fields all by himself. What happened to his family? That's the fishy part. No one knows. They just disappeared one day. And Zox has said nothing. Hmm, that does sound suspicious. Perhaps I'll go and ask him myself. Ja, ja, his farm is down to the southeast. Southwest? You can't miss it. I must get back to work. Veggies don't grow themselves, you know. Interesting, interesting accent. The ox. Hmm. God, I hate, I hate the sound they make. I'm killing his farming. <laughs> murder, murder. Hello, little rooster. Okay. What else can I find? Come here. Come here. All right, cool. Come here. Alright, nice. Um... Ooh. Hell yeah. There's another one! Come back here! I need you for magic. Okay. Have you guys ever eaten a cricket? I hear they taste really good. I'm just curious to know if anyone in my chat has been bold enough to try one. I really want to try these cricket chocolates where they like grind up crickets into like flour and then they cook them. Bandit, an unpleasant sort, expresses it, expresses it primarily through stabbing. Don't attack me. Goodbye! You can't do anything. Alright, what's up this way? <gasps> Is that a pumpkin patch? Hey, yo! What are you? Pumpkin Jack! Snag vine. How do I get a snag vine? Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a kill these guys. You want me to kill them, these guys for you? Oh shit! There we go. <laughs> Pumpkin jackbone. Goodbye. Man, they got me good. I didn't expect them to actually like get at me like that. Until they did. Alright, let's make a healing poultice real quick. I've used poultices before. They're really nice. <laughs> they feel weird though. 
but I've, I like using them. I've made a couple myself. I like to do them for like scrapes and bruises and it really helps a lot. Obviously if you're using the right ingredients, do use high quality ingredients when you do it. Oh, no, no, no. Grab that. Hey, buddy. Good day to you. Good day to you, too. Um... Oh, no, another one. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Oh, and I don't have any more. Dude, you have such a far range. Chill out, my guy. Oh, fuck. You're still following me? My guy. All right, let me look at the map. Um, oh, I see where I am. Okay. More laser grass. Can't go in there. I don't see anything over there. How about up this way? No? Okay. Um... We'll grab that. And then we'll head up back to the forest since, you know, we've made all this progress. We got so much shit. Okay, so we can now get rid of the little troll guys and break the last fairy thing, which will then give us the the glass shard from the... The glass shard from the, uh, what are they called? I, I think pixies? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Let's grab that. That. Nice. Yes, pick up all the flower petals. As we want to collect as many as possible. Because they're not easy to come by. Like, that's the only place I've ever seen them. Was in there. Which I feel like says a lot about their availability. Um, so. Now I gotta find the one. I believe it's just really high up north. Let's go up north and then to the right. See if we can find them. Oh, the dog's up again. Damn it. Alright. Yes, new game! Which one? It's a really good game. I recommend it. Also, hi David. I hope you're doing well. I think it's like, what, morning for you? So, good morning. I don't know if it's late night or early morning. I think it's early morning for you, though. So, good morning. I hope you're doing well. Alright, after that, what do I... Just use a dreadful doll. Nice. Come back here. There we go. Oh shit. Nah. Goodbye. I got smacks. You just woke up. I hope you're having a good morning. I hope you're uh, you're gonna have a good day today. Um, and I hope you slept well as well. Uh, but yes, we are playing a new game. We're playing Witchwood. It's a nice cozy game. It has Animal Crossing vibes, but also like... Um, there's a few like... Um, goblin snot. Ugh. A few 
combat elements kind of like there's no actual combat but you do get hit and you have to like incapacitate enemies um but it's a very nice game i greatly recommend it if you ever get the chance to play it for me it was like 20 usd on switch and i know on switch things it's either 15 or 20. i know on switch things are more expensive but uh and i think it's cheaper on steam than it is on switch um but yeah it's a really good game i recommend it 10 out of 10. Uh, let's see. So, I got that. Let me... I did first things first. Return to the forest pixie's tree. Right, and I've collected one shard of the mirror. Uh, if I go to the forest pixie tree, I can now get the last shard of the mirror. Or not the last one, the second shard in the mirror. Do 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 do. Find the pixie's tree. Should be like maybe up here. Yes. I kicked over those little rock piles like you asked. Now give me that shard, or I'll knock over this nest too. Last night I played Phasmophobia. At first I played okay, but then I cried at the end of the game. Oh no! Why is that? Was it too much for you? I know some games can be a little too much for certain viewers, especially horror games. Um, or was it like too difficult? Uh, either way, I'm sorry that you got upset. I hope that you feel better soon. You smash fairy shrines? Yeah, <laughs> good, good. Take it. We don't want your trash. Dig it. Nice, I got the second one. All right, now I gotta get the Moonlight Globe for the Totems of the Swamp, so. Swamp stuff is up. North. Um. Let's see, what else do I need? I don't know what I need to fight off the twigs. I'll go up there and check. Cause now that the last thing I need to get rid of but I don't know exactly what they need and then after that I that should be the last thing I need to do for the snake and I can break it uh, and then after the snake I think I'll call it because we're at like four hours uh, and this game's long so I don't want to play for too long and tire myself out uh, when I'm gonna be playing it again next week <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll see, though. I might play for longer. I haven't decided yet. Hey, yo. Come here. Nice. Those things don't spawn often, so that was really good. All right, let me see. All right, this way. Snag vine and the hatchet. Oof. I need more of the seeker vine, which there is a bunch here, so I should be able to find some. Look at all these dead bodies. Yeah, come here. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, let's go find some seeker finds. Game seems cozy and good stem, so I could see it going well either way, to be honest. Look, I wanted to hang so solo. Jackal. Evox. You know? Yeah. I know what you mean, but... Nah, it's more like I just don't want to... Um, I worry about tiring myself out on it. Um, because there's only so long that I can craft <laughs> and wander around the same areas and essentially do fetch quests um i do love the game though like don't get me wrong this is one of the best games i've played in a hot hot minute but i do want to break though not what i wanted okay so let me see looking for snag vines Oh, there's one. One. Got 
got two. Um. Hmm. I need one more. Hmm. But where would that one more be? Maybe down? Let's check down. Yes! There it is. Alright, so now I can craft that and have that in my inventory. And now I can go back to where I was before and take down one of those little guys. There we go. And then I can just... Yes! Totemic moon drop. Perfect! And now I can craft this guy, the Moonlight Globe. All right, and now I can get the last shard of... I'm glad that my prediction was right, that the uh, Totemic Moon Drop... Oh, there was blood there. The Totemic Moon Drop was going to be... Um... Oh, yeah, leave me alone. Was going to be dropped by... Was a droppable item by the... Um, totems themselves, so that was good. I just checked out a random new streamer, and the words, it's Hot Boy Monstober. Uh, it's like Hot Boy Summer, where Monster Fockers was just <laughs> Me too! <laughs> I love that. That's incredible. I love that. I love that for them. It's an interesting place, lol. <laughs> Sounds fun. All right, let's see. Uh, maybe I can get them to shift their attention to some other glittering bauble. Moonlight globe. You cast the glowing globe into the ritual circle and watch the wooden effigies suddenly lose coordination and knock their wooden limbs into each other. You take the opportunity to slip between their tall frames and snatch the mirror shard before their frenzied dance begins anew. Nice. All right, bring the mirror shards to the weeping maiden. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to... Because it's going to be so difficult to just backtrack all the way manually. So I think I'm just going to like backtrack a bit and go here. Yes. They're drawing withers from Baldur's Gate 3. Perfect. It, uh, uh, perfect. There's no other way that comment would, wouldn't, would fit fully. Best thing to say while doing that. Outstanding. Okay. So let's go back to the Weeping Maiden and give her the Shards of the Mirror. Because then I should be able to destroy the spell over everybody, weaken the snake, and perhaps catch them. Hello, Weeping Maiden. Have you found any of the mirror shards? I wonder where they could be. There you go. You gingerly hand over the broken glass shards to the maiden. She's careful not to cut herself on the razor sharp edges as she slots them into the mirror frame. The pieces click into place perfectly, and the surface of the mirror ripples like the water on a lake. The ripples calm, settling into the form of a pristine crystal mirror. She gazes into the mirror with awe. Look, it's as good as new! Oh! The maiden's reflection ripples and morphs into the visage of a handsome young man. My love, is that you? Overcome with joy, a fresh stream of tears rolls down her cheeks. I, I can't believe my eyes, I don't understand. What happened? Where are you? I'm in prison inside my own head. It's horrible here, you have to get me out. You went to the snake, didn't you? Why would you do something so stupid? Er, listen, my love, I have a confession to make. I'm not actually that good of a musician. What are you talking about? You were so beautiful upon your balcony. A bum like me would never get your attention. So I, uh, I asked the snake to help me out a little. I thought I could protect myself from the snake's hypnotic gaze with this magic mirror, but then you went and broke the darn thing. I didn't break it, it slipped out of my hand. Wait, don't put this on me. How could you be so irresponsible? 
One problem at a time, children. We fixed the mirror, so it should be able to break the snake's spell now. Yes, oh, you have no idea how unbearable it is being stuck here. There's nothing but awful poetry and song lyrics that don't even rhyme. <laughs> Please, Granny, take the mirror. I can hardly stand to look at this buffoon any longer. Babe, wait. <laughs> she presses the mirror into your hands. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Confront the snake in the fairgrounds. <laughs> she's starting to realize how much of a bullet she's dodged. <laughs> Outstanding. Incredible. I just love how the witch is like, okay, children, chill out. <laughs> All right. Can we just talk about these snakes on, on this like entryway? They're fucking eyes. They look like worms on a string. <laughs> All right. Grace said hydrate. Hot chocolate's hydration, right? Hydrated. Back again. Take a seat and let me let me gaze into your eyes. Um. Sudden dread grips the snake as he swings the shimmering mirror to meet his eyes. The mind-altering patterns of his gaze are reflected back to him. Slowly but steadily, the snake leans closer and closer to the surface of the mirror. His forked tongue flicks against the glass and then disappears beyond it. It's so beautiful. Like a length of rope being pulled through an eyelet, the snake rushes forward and vanishes into his own reflection. Nice! The mirror jolts and bucks out of your hand, clattering to the ground. You stoop down, careful not to look too deeply. Nice. Hidden in the reflection of the mirror surface, you can finally make out a tiny wriggling shape, trapped just beyond the veil of this world. I just realized that's her hand. My brain wasn't recognizing that as her hand, and the hand proportions are so nice. Like, they're talon-like, and I kind of love it. <laughs> the soul of the snake. Cool. The snake quest complete. Also, I never forgot the moment in the debut when Miss Strange said about us flying into the room while doing the VA for the debut. I bet that's the Pharaoh's curse. Like the meme on YouTube. Yeah, that was the point. <laughs> the song at the end was a reference to that. <laughs> hey, yo, that's pretty. All right, let's see. Everybody's gone. Everybody left. Everybody dipped. <laughs> All right. No, but also, if you want to see that video, it's it's up on my YouTube archive. <laughs> the debut video, including the section that is um, Miss Strange's little voice thing, like her 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 end credits. That's all on on my YouTube. Looks like the two of them are working things out. Good. Um. All right, so this feels like a good place to stop. Like, I know it's early, but like, this just feels like a good place to stop. Uh, I don't want to go on too long in case um, we have to stop in the middle of like a a quest. So if you like this game, we'll be back with Witchwood on, I believe, um, Wednesday of next week, uh, which would Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> so if that's up your alley, feel free to tune in. Uh, tomorrow is, um, let me check uh, what tomorrow's stream is. Do, 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 do. Trying to think, I think it's Doki Doki. I think it's Doki Doki Literature Club. Um. Excuse me. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're getting close, we're getting close. I gotta like pin this. <laughs> but I'm a dumbass who doesn't think about that. <laughs> so.
All right, so yes. Tomorrow, it's Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Um, so if that's something of interest to you, feel free to tune in tomorrow. Same time, same place. We're going to be doing all of uh, Ghastly Gala at about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time now. Um, I was going to do 3 p.m., but 4 p.m. just seems to fit better for me. Um, I have more energy when I start at 4 as opposed to starting at 3. So tune in at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I'm trying to make the streams longer and longer each time, but this week just feels like very low energy. Like I said before, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. But next week, streams should start looking more like marathon streams. So keep an eye out for that uh but so tomorrow is doki doki plus the day after is death's door and then the day after that is layers of fear so tune in for all of that doki doki plus is is a more mature game but it's not like a jump scary game i mean there's some jump scares but it's not jump scary uh and that like it's not too heavily leaning on it then you have um death's door which is apparently kind of close to this game uh it's another comfort game and then the one after that which is slayers of fear is a genuine horror horror experience uh we're gonna try and go through the whole game and beat it so we will see how that goes um and then we'll probably do layers of fear 2 next week uh so yeah with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna find somebody to raid if anybody has any suggestions feel free to let me know but i'm gonna see if i can find somebody um Rakro is live and so is Mimo. Uh I'll do Rakro because he was here earlier. Alright, so go say hi to him. He's cool, he's chill. He's very nice. He was hanging out with us earlier. Um And he's playing Ender Lilies again. God, I keep raiding him while he's playing Ender Lilies. <laughs> All right, so with all that being said, take care of yourselves and each other, my Shafties, and I'll see you tomorrow, bro, for Doki Doki Literature Club, okay? All right. Bye, Senate.